Put up, look at him bumping, grinding, getting inside, using Jaron Young in the process for two of his 20 points in game number four. The rotation comes out to him. There's Kurnia Wan, bounce pass over in the corner to Esho. Nothing but net on that left side. Mr. Inside, outside, we call him for the damage that he can do at either end of the court. There he is getting away from John Fields, turning the corner, and the rest is history for Max Yesho. 22 points in that last game for him. And on the other side of the ball, the starting five for the Singapore Slinger. Oh, okay, Brandon Jawato, another one of the key players for CLS. Jawato has been amazing in these four games. In fact, he's averaged over 15 points a game, closely mirroring what he's done against the Slingers during the regular season. There is his forte. He can hit that three, and he showed us how to do it in that final game, running at him, no use at all. Once he gets his legs situated, he can really stroke the ball. He hit five threes. In fact, was five and nine from beyond the arc. Brandon Juato, a key player for the CLS Knights. On the other side of the ball here, the starting five for St. Paul Singers, Larry Lou. He's been excellent on the defensive end, offensive end. Jaron Young, Xavier Alexander, Delvin Go. We need to get him started. And John Fields, the defensive player of the year for the St. Paul Slingers. So Larry Lou getting the start instead of Desmond O. Oh. One of the more imposing players for the Singapore Slingers on that side of the ball. He's been doing it all season long. And it'll be Xavier Alexander, the league's MVP. Watch him going to work in that last game here in a minute. There are the numbers on Xavier Alexander. Here we go, the rotation on that right-hand side, calling for the ball off the screen of fields, getting inside. Nobody there to dish it off to. That is the most improved part of his game. His outside shooting has been outstanding, not only in the playoffs, but in the regular season, too, where he averaged 22 points a game. There he is, a little step getting around uh, Max Yesho. Here he is in the open court, dishing it, getting to the basket with the left hand, doing a good job that left shoulder protecting the rim. Alexander, he can also knock up the three on occasion. There his numbers in that last game and losing effort, 25 points, seven rebounds. Eight assists, a threat to go, a threat to go triple double every time. Look at Jaron Young; he's about 70, 75 percent, and he is one key to the Singapore offense. He's not going to be the force he is under the basket as far as rebounds, but he can still get it done from the offensive end, rising and firing there. Once he gets separations, he's one of the more athletic players in the league, and he can also still lead the fast break. There he's getting around one, two, three players, little finger roll to the basket. 23 uh, minutes, he had 13 points, four rebounds, and two assists. That was in only 23 minutes. The coaching staff playing it a little bit tentative with him, but he will get the start tonight. There is a kick out. Again, one player dashing past him, and that's all the room that he needs to line it up, rising and firing for two of his 13 points. So there is a player matchup that is a mouth-watering one, and it has been throughout this series. John Fields and Darrell Watkins. Watkins, monster game last game, that 28 points, 16 uh, rebound effort. Going against uh, John Fields, 11, 10, and 1. John Fields got the better of Watkins in games two or three. The bookend games going to Daryl Watkins, game one and game four, where he has been tremendous. So, as Coach uh, was saying before the game and before we uh, had our interviews and at the interviews, that uh, these two guys might well determine on who wins the series. Larry Liu and Ung Han Bin, they have been Tremendous for Singapore, especially on the offensive end. Check this game for both of them notching eight points. Two of four from beyond the arc for both these guys. Larry Liu in particular gives you that little extra advantage. Sticking his hands in the lane. Very, very tough on the defensive end. Ong Han Ben with that length that he gives you. Came up with six rebounds in that game four in that losing effort. So Larry Liu and Ong Han Ben, a couple of Singapore locals that you need to keep your eye on. There is Ong Han Ben right there. Juwato, yeah, okay, okay. 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 Okay.
again, everybody, and welcome one more time to the ABL here on Startup as we bring you the 2018-2019 Finals Game 5, last gasp for one of these teams, and one of these teams will walk out of the OCBC Arena as the champions of the 2018-19 season. Here it is, confirmation of our two teams, the 21 and 13 Singapore Singers, the 21 and 14 CLS Knights, and their records would indicate they are very evenly matched. Both these teams have split four games, one here and one away for Singapore. Ditto for the CLS Knights as we look at the guys in the white shirts. Uh, Hung Han Bin, as we now we look at the uh, road to the finals, how they got here, 2-0 uh, Mono Vampires. Well, they went down to CLS Mono Vampires. They were highly fancied in that series. On the other side of the ball, Singapore having a surprisingly easy time with Hong Kong thrashing them 2-0. And here we are, as we just said, two games each, one each at the OCBC Arena, and one at the pit, as I like to call it, in Surabaya, even it up at 2-2. We'll talk more about that a little bit later as we look at the other side, CLS Knights, and big Brian Watkins. And man, did he have a monster game as we will attest to that right there. There he is cleaning up and putting it back in for the garbage two points. He finishes with 28 and 16. There he is at the other end, 87-74 shellacking at the hands of CLS Singapore. Although they were off to that quick eight, nothing. Just could not do anything with the interior game of that guy right there. Get it again off the dribble and Watkins again getting past his man. And that was the same the all night long. So Watkins, the man of the game in the last game. He had two great games in both those games. Strangely enough, or not strangely enough, CLS won. So, here are the referees for tonight. Chu Win Chen, Chung Kwok Shun, Andy Chung Kwok, and uh, Li Yu Chong. Chinese Taipei, Hong Kong, and Malaysia. They've been doing a fine job throughout the season, so good luck, guys. You're going to have your hands full tonight as we look at uh, Maxi Esho on the bench for the CLS Knights. And uh, they are just about ready to do battle here. So before the game, uh, we talked to some of the coaches, some of the players, and got some of their reflections, not only on tonight's game, but the entire season. And that'll be coming up in just a minute. As we look at Esho, he's averaging over 20 points a game in the playoffs. And here are those interviews that we talked about. Uh, well, there we're going to talk to Coach Rylson first to see the back of him. Very dapper looking uh, Coach Brian Rylson. We interviewed with him and uh, very, very excited to be here at the OCBC Arena for the third time. There is on the other side of the ball is Coach Nyo. Coach Nyo has been with the Singapore Slingers at the inception all the way until now. 11 years here, 13 years after he has toiled for the Singapore Slingers and finally getting a trip to the finals is not finally third time and for coach Ralston is a look how man he looks great in a suit doesn't he the ex nba -er. he's coached everywhere around the world you won't meet a nicer guy and we're going to be introduced to the players here for the cls nights and then also the singapore singers understandably a packed house here i'm along with marco benitez and scotty mckinnon we'll be bringing them on in just a minute but uh they had to put 273 seats on either end a total of 550 seats or something thereabouts to bring the total to over 3,000 here for this arena. There is not a empty seat in the house as we look at the starters or some of the other players also for the CLS Knights. Jawado, what a series he's had, averaging over 15 points. And there's Wang Wei Long, the Singapore native. He will be starting for the CLS Knights. Kiran Wan, he has done a fine job off the bench. Hawato, uh, Hayato, what a game he had in game four for CLS, draining eight points some of the other role players for the CLS Knights and their other players. There's Max Yesho. He is not a role player at all. He is one of the go-to guys for the CLS Knights. He averaged over 20 points a game and 10 rebounds. And don't forget uh, the specter of Daryl Watkins. What a series. What a season he Daryl Watkins has had. One of the guys in consideration for Defensive Player of the Year. So those are the stalwarts for the CLS Knights. As we said, coached by a fine job done by Brian Rousen this year in his inaugural campaign for CLS Knights. In fact, this is the first time the CLS Knights have been in the finals, and now you're going to hear a roar because the Singapore Singers are being announced before this packed house. And we'll look at their role players first, and then we'll talk about the starters in a little bit. But what a season they have had, as we said, 21-13, and 13, the best defensive team in the league. Gave up just over 79 points a game and held the CLS Knights in that number three game that we saw here on uh, Star Hub, 63 to 60. 
and going uh, and losing game four by a score of 87-74. So there is Lim, one of the low role players. He can also light it up on defense for the Singapore Slingers. Desmond oh, he will not get the start tonight. He has started most of the games, but uh, 32 years old, he has been a fixture for the Singapore Singers year after year. One of the older guys, 5'8", he can still shut it down with the best of on defense. Tay Ding Loon, number six, role player, 24 years of age. He's six feet tall, 183 pounds. Here's a guy that uh, everybody loves to have the ball in crunch situation. Ung Han Bin, he scored eight points in that last game and also grabbed uh, six rebounds. Kelvin Lim, 22-year-old, probably will not get a lot of playing time tonight, if any. There's Russell Lowe, he's been sort of the mystery man. 6'5", uh, he plays much bigger, a wide body that you can plant down there on the low block or high block. He'll give you some garbage points underneath the basket. Very good from short range. V. Lavin Raj, unless it's a route, you're not going to see him in the game. He's only 18 years of age, so he's got a future. 6'7", 306 pounds, a lot of baby fat on him, still learning the game, but he is a project that the Singapore Singers will develop, not only this season, but next season as well. And here we go, the starting five, John Fields, Defensive Player of the Year, number five. He's had a couple of terrific games, a couple of games by his standards. He'd be the first one to admit, a little bit mediocre, but uh, the games he has dominated, Watkins, those are the games the Singers have gone on to win. Larry Liu, he will get the start tonight. What a job he's done on the defensive end. Also, eight points in the last game for him. He's couple, had a couple of sparking games. Jaron Young, a lot of the swingers' hopes are pinned on his narrow shoulders. He came up with a injury in his hamstring the first game, but came on like gangbusters the last couple. He's about 70%. There's Delvin Go, sort of the invisible man the last couple of games. The first game, he came in and scored 13 points. They need to get him off early and often there is the straw that stirs the drinks we said so many times the league mvp xavier alexander averaged over 22 points a game eight boards eight assists he is the guy that makes a go for singapore he had a marvelous game in a losing effort the last game 25 points seven uh, rebounds and eight assists so there you have it those are your contestants for tonight's game five they played each other already eight times and uh, to nobody's surprise uh, they are four and four so something's got to give here at the OCBC arena as we said before a packed house here at eight o'clock in the afternoon so let's take a look at the interviews we promised you a little bit earlier and get some reflections on the coaches and players well i think basically they are set of the i mean the laws of game four but i think they, we bounce back and uh, i think we got a very really good preparation and uh Players are pretty confident and uh, we want to win this uh, championship at home. No one expected us to be here in the finals uh, this year, obviously. Uh, Singapore has been here three out of the last four years. They've been close. So we just, I've been telling our, our team that, you know, I feel like the pressure's on Singapore. You know, they've come close and not have, haven't won a championship yet. So we're not even supposed to be here. So let's just have fun. Um, and, you know, the, again, the pressure's on them to try to come through and finally win for, the, for their first championship. You know, I love John. I love the energy he's brought to the game, too. he's brought to the team this year. And, uh, I will, you know, I wouldn't trade that for anything. Hopefully we can, like I say, crown it today with the, with the ABL title. I think I'm feeling really, really good, excited uh, about the atmosphere that um, what the fans going to give. Um, but I'm just going to enjoy every single moment of my time right here. Um, and today is the finals and I hope that both teams will have a good game and uh, both teams will fight and compete against one another. So long way long, the hometown boy playing for the opposite team, and he will get the start. He's the shadow man there, Maxi Escho, Brandon Juwato, Douglas Herring, Daryl Watkins. All those guys can come up big and have time after time for CLS Knights. That's why they are in the finals now, vying for this championship in game five. And the, one of the key players for CLS that we want to keep our eye on tonight. Well, we've talked about him incessantly, and why not? Maxi Escho, he can do it from inside, outside. We're going to watch him here on the video. Going to the left hand, little head fake there, finding some way to get inside. That is vintage Maxi Escho. Not only can he do it from inside, but you cannot give him any room on the outside or else he will do this like a dagger from anywhere on the court. Maxi Escho, 6'7", six, 6'8", six, but he can play as small as 6'3". Look at there, getting the step on Jaron Young, which is not easy to do. So quick off the ball, quick away from the ball, does it for you both on the offensive and defensive way as well. Check out the uh, starting five, or we're gonna, actually we're gonna look at Jawado, our second key player for the CLS Knights. Local guy, also has some uh, game 
time experience in the States and a very, very smooth player. He is known for what he can do from outside, but uh, you give him a step on that catch and shoot there. You give him any kind of space at all, and he can light up just like he did the other night. He's averaging over 15 points a game in this series for the CLS Knights, and he will do that all day. Here he is off the feed on that left-hand side. We saw four different angles or four different places where he can shoot the ball. There's not a place where you are out of danger when Brandon Juwato has the ball. Starting five for the senior four singers, Larry Lou. We talked about that surprise start. Not so surprised given what he's done on the defensive end and eight points as well. Jaron Young, he'll, he'll be about 70%. Xavier Alexander, John Fields, and Delvin go for the slingers. Some of the players that are important, well, Xavier Alexander, must we say it again, what can he do in a losing effort in game four? 25 points, seven rebounds, five assists, two steals. There he is. A little hesitation jumper. That is the aspect of his game that's probably improved more than any other the last two or three years. This is fourth year in the league. There he is getting around one player. Very, very deceptive on that quick first step. Here he is in the open court, brushing past Watkins. He is very intelligent, high basketball IQ. He can ascertain where it is time for him to launch it, where not. He can even do it from beyond the arc there. And there he is again, 25 points. So we are just getting ready to start here. So the fans are ready. I know you are ready at home. I know we're ready here at the OCBC Arena as we look at John Fields and Daryl Watkins getting ready to do battle. And it is no secret that these two guys, they are the factors that can make the difference in between the championship. Watkins has had two great games, and so has Fields. So without further ado, let's turn it over to the fans, you at home, and let's do it here at the OCBC Arena. Chuck Schreiner along with Marco Benitez and Scotty McKinnon. And right away, guys, tell you what, these first couple of minutes, Marco, are so crucial. So crucial, Chuck. And, you know, history in the side of the Singapore Slingers in the past two times that the series has gone five games since they went to a five-game format. The home team has come out victorious. So Singapore Slingers looking to continue that streak. But as you mentioned, they have to come out strong. Uh, ideally, 8-0 start would be good for them, and uh, they have to maintain that type of energy all throughout. Right away, they spread it out. Alexander with the ball on that right-hand side. Gets the screen from John Fields, looking for somebody to cut inside. They don't. They cut it back outside to Delvin. Go, go over to Alexander. Posted out wide there is Jaron Young, finding some space somewhere. The follow is no good. Gang rebounding inside. Delvin, go, puts it up and in. How positive is that for Singapore? Delvin, go, struggled the last three games. And to have him step up, get an offensive uh, put back early in this game is only going to provide him some confidence. We talked about that last night, Scotty, when we were together. Uh, Delvin Go has to get off early on. Singapore is such a good team when they can do it. They're a better team when they can. Max Eto from the outside, herring off the dribble. Double pump fake off the head. Fires up a two. That's going to be short. Gang rebounding again. Don Fields corrals it off to Jaron Young. Quick pass down the court. They'll wait for numbers downstairs. It goes and a foul, and that will go on. Long way long, I believe. Quick pass on the interior there, Scotty McKinnon. Yeah, and I love the strategy right now to go to Delvin Go to get him going. He started the first half of game one, five for five for 11 points. And it's nice to see uh, the Slingers coaches, Johnson and Neal, going after his size as an advantage right now. Inbound, lost by the last touch by CLS. So Young with a little bit of a fumble there. Esho getting a hand to it. Esho can, consorting his uh, players to get a little bit more aggressive. There he is on the inbound pass. Right around Juwano, right know, around Harry. They got the mismatch they wanted, Marco, inside. You know, you know, Chuck, historically in the series, the team that has won the inside points has come out victorious. Good aggressive uh, challenge there by Jaron Young on Wong Wei Long. Last touch by Young, so off the far side, they'll take it out. Wong Wei Long. In the last three and a half games, uh, Delvin Goh's only taken seven combined mm -hmm. shots. He has two in the first minute here. What a great start for our local MVP nominee. Herring over to Juwato, around the screen he goes, rises and fires on the three ball. It's gonna be off the mark. Darren Young with the board. Off to the right goes Xavier Alexander, quick downstairs to Larry Liu for the three, yeah! Three-point shooting gonna be so critical in this game. CLS in their wins. Average about nine triples per game. They're the number one three-point shooting team in the league. If Singapore can sort of match that, they're going to be in a good position to win. Seven nothing, and the miss by Watson's trying to force it. Larry Liu downstairs again. Jaron Young swings it over to the right. Delvin go, yes, getting the separation inside. Nine nothing, Singapore. Delvin go, three of four from the field, six points, two rebounds. The local MVP nominee has come to play in this deciding game tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Delvin go. And it's just what Singapore, as we said before.
Scotty in games two, three, and four, and Marco. Only seven shots taken by Del to go, Marco. That's the way to start off the game. Especially since it's coming from a local, and you know what? Four quick inside points. So, so far, they're dominating the inside game. That is the... That is First quarter, so we know what sort of character these CLS Knights uh, have. Remember, Singapore jumped off to that 8 0 lead just a few nights ago, Scotty McKinnon, and they were reeled in very quickly. Yeah, and sometimes it's bad to get off to a really quick start early in the game because there's still 39 minutes in this basketball right. game for CLS to get into their rhythm and get back in this game. Not trying to be Debbie Downers or anything, but uh, just saying, Herring on that right hand side to Wong Wei Lin. Back outside to Herring. Oh, great defense inside. There is uh, Fields working against Watkins. Watkins able to turn the corner and get the angle on John Fields. So they off the snide now, 9-2. to two. Downstairs it goes, and a foul. Well, you know what, Chuck? This, that was exactly the way CLS uh, came back in that game in that first quarter. They tried to attack John Fields one-on-one. -on -one. Coach Neal going with single coverage against Dada Watkins. That proved to be the difference. Watkins finished with about 28 points in game four. And yeah. Delvin Go with another rim run there to the rim. Yeah. He beats his mound on the floor, and he has 25 pounds and two inches on Brandon Jawato, and he's finally taking advantage of that size. Okay. Delvin Go has really playing to his strengths right now in game five. First foul on Jawato, rimmed off. And I think, Chuck, the difference was that in game four, they tried to set up Delvin Go straight to the post on their set offense right now. He had a hard time beating uh, Jawato in terms of foot speed, but right now he's beating Jawato down in transition, so they're finding him early, getting in good scoring position at the start of the shot clock. So 10-2, lead for Singapore Slingers. Second team foul for the Knights. Singapore yet to have a foul. Herring over the top the long way long. Going off to the other side. Ooh, almost picked off. Walking downstairs. Fumbling it back outside. The ball picked off. Alexander calling for the uh, possession, but uh, off of his hands. And Singapore out of three throws, made three throws this year. They've fallen in that one, two, two half court yeah. trap. They've been very loyal to it. And it's just to change the tempo and create a little bit of difference in that shot yeah. clock, bring the ball down the court. That will force CLS to get, ball, get rid of the ball a little bit quicker. Back up. There's the steal by Young. Lead pass to Lou. Back to Alexander. He's going downhill and the finish. And you know, in terms of fast break points in the games they've won, they've had a plus 13 advantage in terms of fast break points to so the team that is able to run in this game five, I think has the upper hand. And I think John Fields gets his first foul back down at the other end very, very quickly. CLS doing the right thing and quickly looking down the court. Singapore a little bit lazy bringing the ball back, but just textbook perfect fast break run there from Larry Liu. Gutting right up the gut for uh, Xavier Alexander. So that foul actually was on Young. So that will be one on him. Remember, Jaron Young nursing that uh, pulled hamstring. Jawado. And you know what's good about that, Chuck, was that uh, in game four, Singapore didn't get their first pair of fast break points until the second half. So right now, they're off to a good start fast break wise. Cutting out wide is Jaron Young. He loses a fortuitous bounce there right into the hands of Alexander. Ill advised shot there by Larry Liu. Tries to take it off the glass, and it's just airy. As Esho camped out on the left hand side, they swing it over to him and they foul inside. Let's see who they give that to. Will that be on Watkins or Fields? If that's on Fields, that's going to be two personal fouls. No, that Fields. will actually be one. They've called that last foul on Jaron Young. Check that, yeah. So Fields with one, Young with one. And the team fouls knotted up at two. Herring now camped outside. Jawado finds some space inside off balance. Jumper, nothing but net. 
CLS has done a really good job of weathering the storm. It's back mm -hmm. down to five points. They didn't get flustered by the quick start by Singapore, and now it's a competitive basketball game again. And the ball picked off. Ill advised pass there by Jaron Young, and back comes Herring and Company, dumping the ball down low. Wong Wei Long finds some room inside. Going against uh, Del Mago, who knocks it away. Back comes Sharon Young. Pass is a little bit wild. And out of bounds it goes. My goodness, bad pass. Second turnover there for Jaron Young. Back-to-back yeah, -back turnovers for Jaron Young. There was a game where he had three straight turnovers, and Coach Joe just sent him to the bench. He has to settle himself down. You know, big game jitters will always be there, but he has to settle himself down. If you said, Scotty, CLS doing a great job of getting their heads right back into this game. Herring off a dribble. He's got the screen there by Watkins. Watson. Watkins at the high post, gives it off. Ball blocked away, Jaron Young could have been called for a foul there. Off the dribble! Herring for a triple. Yeah, and Douglas Herring is very scary. He's a streak shooter. He only shoots 32 from the three, but when he gets it going, he's very, very scary from that three-point line. Good job of sealing it off. Seals with the shot, the follow, who else? Delvin Go downstairs, getting position, up and in. That's nine of the 14 points of the Slingers in the first quarter coming from Delvin Go inside. Perry, Watkins, working against Fields, slashing across is Esho, bounce pass over to him. Alexander turning the corner is Esho, too close of an angle, back comes Young. Young will be a little bit more careful. The ball going to the left hand. Rises, fires for two off the mark. No foul call. Rebound by Esho. Now to Herring. Wonder if this pace might uh, favor CLS a little bit. Shot there by Herring off the mark. Back to Larry Liu. Over to Alexander. Cutting through is Delvin Go. He'll line it up on that low post. They'll try the entry pass to him. No, they won't. Back outside. John Fields has that wide open shot off the mark again. 0 for 2 is Fields. That's really not how, the shot that you yeah, want you him to be how taking. You see Darrell Watkins is away from John Fields. That's about two steps. There's absolutely no respect for the jump shot of John Fields. Oh, boy. Cutting the corner. Nice recovery there by Fields on the low block. Bounce pass over. One way long from three. Yes! This isn't a good sign right now for Singapore. Uh, CLS getting hot from the three-point line and another turnover. Yeah, and the steal at the other end and another three. So the first time in the game, Herring with that second triple of his off the turnover. Singapore has got to slow it down. They will call a timeout the ninth, but their first lead, gentlemen, 16 to 14. That's a 16 to 5 run erupted by the, by the CLS Knights after that timeout. I think you can see Coach Neal is livid at his players. Yeah, that uh, the turnover is inex inexcusable, coupled by Jaron Young at the other end. And really right now, Xavier Alexander not into the uh, offensive flow, but however, on the other side of the ball, and it does take a lot of the, or a lot of guts, guys, to come back. They were down nine, nothing, with the crowd breathing down their throat. Call me, as you said, Scotty McKinn, just coming back, taking it one possession at a time, taking care of the ball, collapsing down on the inside, giving them nothing cheap, biding their time, letting Singapore, especially John Fields, miss a couple uh, uh, jumpers, and then taking care of business from beyond the arc. Well, that's a, that's a reflection of the coach. Coach uh, Brian Rosen never get, is excitable. He's very calm on the sideline there. He's very apparent and deliberate with his movements and his coaching style, and that's a reflection of his team right now. In the next possession, Singapore has to get a contest on yeah. that three, and they have to find Douglas Herring because if he gets it going, he is an unbelievably streaky rhythm shooter. Very concerned, as you can tell, about the Watkins. He has burned him in a couple games, but you have to remember it's not a one-man team. And on top of that, guys, we have seen nothing of Maxi Esho yet, and he's another guy that can do it at any time. And that is what is more scary for the CLS Knights. And you know, it just goes back to what the Coach Brian said during the interviews, that the pressure that he feels is more on the Slingers because they are playing with house, house money, so to speak. They've, they've achieved what they wanted to achieve. Uh, did not make the playoffs last season. Right now, they are one, one win away from winning a championship. So I believe pressure more on the side of the Slingers. Okay, as Marco said, 16-5 to run for this team right now in blue, the CLS Knights. Outside to Liu. Liu gets around one screen. Desmond O in the game right now for Jaron Young, who's been relegated to the bench. Bounce pass. Fields rises, fires for two. He's going to be off the mark. Alexander there to clean up and a foul. That'll go on Herring. Yeah, now CLS fell into a 2-3 zone there, and it was very interesting. They're, they've seen that Singapore's tightened up a little bit, and that generally affects your jump shot. So a very strategic move by Coach Brian Rellison to drop back into a zone and see if the Singapore's could make a, a basketball IQ decision there. 
Daring Singapore to shoot it from the outside. Good ball moved by the Slingers to get the ball downstairs to Alexander and crucial free throws as they all are in the final. Hey, Singapore good. not known as a very good free throw, to, uh, free throw shooting team, guys. They were last in the league at 69.1%. Well, that's right, Chuck. And, you know, they're also not known as a great three-point shooting team. So I like the ploy of Coach Brian Rosam just to pack it inside the paint. Uh, on the average, Singapore in wins and their losses here in the series, they only average about six triples a game. So Coach Brian doesn't feel that that will beat them. Oh, terrific ball movement by CLS. Long cross-court pass. That show his first shot of the game. Rims in and out, but right back into his hands. I think he was stepped out of bounds. Oh, so it'll be Singapore ball. What a closeout there by John Fields. He came from the midline all the way out to get a contest on the 42% three-point shooter, Max Yeshel there. So great hustle from the big man to get out and get a contest on that shot. So if you just joined us, Singapore marching off to the quick 9-0 lead. They were quickly reeled in, and now the Knights with that slender one-point lead. Alexander with the ball. Full house here at the OCBC Arena with about 3,000. Added extra seats. Chuck Schreiner, Marco Benitez, and Scotty McKinnon with the call. Hope you're enjoying it wherever you are. Backup jumper by Alexander. That's a tough shot there on the part of Alexander. Juan Willow playing great defense, but just a nice spin move. And at a tough 15-footer. Alexander already in the ears of the referees. Interesting enough, during that timeout, Coach Neal was very animated towards Jaron Young and his possession of the ball, and Desmond O came in for a very quick sub for him. So he's giving Young, I think it's a very intelligent move, to give Young a little bit of a break, let him collect his thoughts, and then get him back in the game. Well, you talk about streaky players, Jaron Young on both sides of the ball is the epitome of streak. Not on a very good one right now, so making the right decision, putting Desmond O, who is known for his defense in the game, and he'll slide over on uh, Wong Wei Long, a push down low, and I think See who that will go against Larry Liu, I believe. So the mismatch downstairs, they do a good job of finding yeah, Watkins on Liu. That's exactly right, Chuck. You know, CLS so good at those small to big screens, forcing the defense to switch, finding the mismatch. That time it was Larry Liu on Daryl Watkins. Herring waiting for cutters. Watkins with a long shot, a little bit beyond his range, back into the hands of Alexander, who pops it over to go. Back on the singers, all the way downstairs to Fields. Fields off balance shot inside. Good. Very nice to see John Fields rim run there for his first basket of the game. So it's a really key point right now. Only two points for John Fields. Fields and Watkins, we said, have traded excellent games. Herring off the dribble, half space. Fields on him. Catch and shoot. And that is another three for Jawato. How big has Jawato been? Those big triples does not hit a lot in games, except in game four he had five, but the timing of this triple is just impeccable. Once again, trying to get over the top and feed it over to John Fields, knocked that away by Watkins, so it'll be Singapore ball on the baseline. Out goes uh, Larry Liu. Into the game comes Young again. Trying to find position. Oh boy, a little bit weak on that uh, 4A. See who touched it last. It'll be Watkins with the touch, and he knew it. What do we have here? There's going to be a technical foul on Watkins. The crowd asking for it. Yes, he does. Watkins a little bit too much to send, and the crowd all over that. Uh, Chuck, I think they're going to give that to Brian Rousen on the Rousen, bench. Wow. Yeah, he was very, very animated and vocal towards the official there on the baseline. And you know what's funny, Chuck, is he's not normally like no. that. I think the entire season he's only gotten one other technical. So this also could be a way for Coach Brian to, to really fire up his squad. So Watkins pleading his case and wanting the foul, obviously. He felt that Fields was in his grill. And the referee's having none of it. Love this substitution by Coach Neo to get Jaron Young back in. A yeah. really quick rest to get his thoughts together, to calm himself down, slow his movement patterns down, and now he's back in the game again. Concern for the Slingers, though, gentlemen. Uh, you know, they're going to have to defend against these threes because this is really where uh, this is CLS's bread and butter yeah. the last couple of games. They really think they found something there. Number one three-point shooting team in the league, average about 37%. And long distance. And Marco, they, yeah. Mark, sorry, Marco, you talked about the timing of Joato's threes. That makes Coach Neal make a decision between Delvin Go and Hanbin. Is he going to yeah. go with his strength, the big inside, or is he going to go with someone who can't keep up with Joato, Joato on the other That's side? Right. Three team fouls on CLS, two for Singapore. Wide open look for Young from the corner. Good and one. Chance for a four point play for Jaron Young. And you talked about the timing of the insertion of Jaron Young that bears fruit. Four point play gets uh, Joato. On the foul. 
Jawado diving at him, and that will be to add insult to injury. I believe that will be two on Jawado if, in fact, it is on him. Chuck, there is the shot again. You mentioned he's a rhythm player, right? Jaron yeah. Young is, is a streak player as much as you get in this league. And for him to hit an and one three right there is a very good momentum going forward. So they blew the whistle, but 22-19 uh, the score. So no, no foul, I guess, on there. Just the whistle. So crowd and I thought it was a foul. Turning the corner is Watkins. Now he has to kick it back outside. Good bump up defense by John Fields around one. Long way long from that left side. is going to be far short that time. Fields cleaning it up. Back comes Alexander. 142 to go here in the first quarter. Exciting is advertised. Desmond O. Stutter step move inside. Tries to find some room. Back outside. Alexander with 10 on the shot clock. Left hand turns. Fires. Off balance shot. No good. Walking pulls down the board. Back comes Herring and company. That's great defense there by Xavier Alexander. Oh, wide open over. look for Jawato, but instead he will take it to the rack for two. And this is what Jawato gives you. Can hurt you from the outside, can also hurt you from the inside. Young, left hand now. Young, yes. Oh, wait a minute. We have a foul before that. A reach in, I believe, or oh, it looks like a sportsman like yeah. foul. Let's see, who they're going to call it against Doug Herring. See what Herring does to earn that. Oh, a push from behind on Fields. Fields goes sprawling, and Fields pointing to Herring. So for Herring, I think that's going to be three personals on Doug Herring. That's, that's two, actually. Two. Marco, yeah, two. So unsportsmanlike foul or just a normal foul. Let's see how they ring it up. Either way, though, uh, Herring with two. So early concern for CLS, their playmaker. Let's see how they draw this up here. Herring still beseeching the referees. But quite clearly, you can see Fields push from behind, guys. And uh, I don't know how the referees can ignore that. That's going to be two free throws plus ball possession to the Slingers. A big momentum change with yeah. 112 left here in the first quarter for the Slingers to get not only his two foul shots, but also that possession, like you said. So hopefully Jaron Young can make them pay from the through line here. Well, a, ga a game of momentum, guys. We talked about Slingapore coming out with all the momentum in the world, and then the momentum switching straight over to the Knights. But because of a couple of uh, kind of silly decisions by the coach and the player, giving Singapore a chance to take the momentum right back. And you know, the only thing you don't like here, if you're, if you're Coach Neal, is that the game is so far high scoring because uh, you'd want a more grind out, the low scoring type of game. But hey, you're in the lead by two, possibly by three. So you'll probably take it at this point. Young obliges, hits two up two, and Singapore will have the ball with an opportunity to take a five or six point lead. So checking back into the game, Young will go to the bench again. I detect a little bit of a limp. Uh, let's hope it's nothing major, but uh, 112 to go here in the first quarter. So Larry Liu will come back into the game for defensive purposes and that three ball that he is uh, so fond of and Coach Jared, Rousen. Jaron Young had a really nice little shift there going two for four for five points. He came in confident and assertive and looked to score and that's a great thing for the Slingers going forward. Well Alexander 1-9 and counting. Desmond O applying the screen. Alexander getting away from Watkins. Tries to go the opposite way. Knock away great defensive seal there by Watkins. You see the defense of CLS just waiting for switching on the perimeter screens that time. Watkins, great help defense. Harif Hidayat, uh, the explosive sub in game four, back in the game as well. And there's a foul on Watkins. Nice job by Fields to get clear. So for Watkins, let's see, is that just one on him? I believe so. Watch it again. Watkins has a decision to make right there. Good decision also by John Fields just to hold his ground knowing that Watkins was right on his back, Scotty. Yeah, and on that baseline out of bounds, John Fields does a great job from starting up high and, and cutting towards the rim, getting the seal, catching the basketball. And like you said, Chuck, on balance, under control, straight to the rim with parallel shoulders. Missing the first of two, Singapore not even 50%, well, just 50% from the line or thereabouts. Fields one of two, so there's your four-point lead. And I think, Chuck, what is crucial is that John Fields does not, should not settle for outside shots. Has to be continue to be aggressive and take it to Dyer Watkins. Terrific point, Marco. Dump pass inside, looking for cutters is Herring. Herring back outside. Little one-handed push shot and the follow. Nice job by Herring not to give up the play and cut in on the baseline, Scotty. Yeah, and Herring's got a nice little rhythm going right now. Eight points, three of five, and a great offensive rebound there of getting around hand bin and, and tipping the basketball in. Oh boy, down low. Fields fishing it out. 
Desmono, five on the shot clock, going baseline, and somehow, and amongst the trees, John Fields takes it to the basket for yeah. two. You and the seas it. open up. Nobody wanted yeah. the foul. You love the aggressive here for John Fields. Took it strong. Did not mind any help defense coming from Dyer Watkins. You can see once he got the step, nobody stepped in in a blue shirt to stop him. Cognizant of the fouls. Back outside, Esho. Show and go move inside. Takes the ball to the rim. Let's see what do we have here. Waving it off. And that will end it, so the basket does not count. The stroke of midnight, no dice for CLF. Four-point lead by the Slingers, 27-23. Here at a packed out to no CBC Arena. Game five when we return. It would be a close, hotly contested game, 27-23 in favor of the Slingers. We look at some of the highlights from that uh, critical first quarter. Singapore coming out like gangbusters. Delvin go six quick points. In fact, he finishes with nine in that first quarter. Had the bulk of the Singapore offense. The other side of the ball, well, look at Larry Liu. Little catch and shoot action inside. Oh, nice little show and go movement there by... Uh, Delvin go again inside. It wasn't all one-way traffic, and uh, Watkins gets things going for the CLS Knights. They come back furiously, but there in the open court goes Xavier Alexander taking the ball to the house. Jawado, little backup jumper off of one foot. He was tremendous in that first quarter. Jawado, in fact, with 10 points, leading all scorers. There is Xavier Alexander. Well, guys, uh, any uh, clues you can get by the stats? Of course, it's a close game, and I'm betting the stats will sort of show that. Which, uh, well, Scotty was mentioning this. 16 of the 27 points of the Slingers coming from inside the paint. In their wins, they average about 36 points in the paint per game. So big clue right there, and uh, CLS shooting very well from outside. Bounce pass inside it goes. No look shot there off the mark. Alexander there to clean it up, and back comes Singapore in white, CLS in blue. Dumps it off to Ung Han Bin. Now to Larry Liu. He's got one triple inside to Fields looking for cutters. Good job covering on defense by CLS as they coalesce on Alexander. It doesn't matter. Hesitation in the air for two. And this is where the Slingers are at their best. They've already shot nine foul shots. They're winning the rebounding battle by eight. They need to continue attacking inside, outside. The Diet now in the game. He had the big game four with eight points. Very streaky shooter. There's Esho. Esho yet to get off the mark as of yet. Losing control of the ball. Now Herring. Herring left hand inside. Squirms. Can't get it. Last touch by Singapore. I think it'll be CLS ball. You know, that's a good point by uh, by Scotty, especially that Daryl Watkins is on the bench. There's no shot blocker on the floor for the Knights. There's Herring. Difficult squirmy move inside and coming in from behind was Jawato to save the day for CLS. Watch him come in from the weak side position. The diet. Herring. Throwing it out of bounds. Wow. That was a great hard hedge. Was. Great hard hedge by John Fields there. He realizes that Furman is not a scorer. Hard hedge right yeah. on Herring. Ha made him pass it to the non-scorer and there's a turnover. Yeah, yeah Furman. If nope. you're Doug Herring, you have to take that uh, short jump shot because you're not going to get anything from Nugrojo from that distance, especially in this type of a set situation. So that gives you the confidence of uh, Coach Rousen starting the second quarter with his subs. Look at that defense. It's like almost like a 1-2-2 two, two short. Oh, and somehow 
Alexander finding, you can see Fields was blocked out. He had no idea the bar the ball was. And you know, so far 50-50 ball, second chance points going the way of the Slingers. Eight point lead now for Singapore. Hadaya with the ball. Sandwich and forcing him into the, you see what the coach Nyo was arguing about. He's saying my player was pushed into him by Max Yesho. Doesn't matter, so the foul will go on Desmond O. Oh, that will be the first one on him. First team foul for Singapore in this very young second quarter. Post up move, down low. Oh, finding the open man. Nice job by Herring to find the cutter. 31-25. Off the dribble, Larry Liu, and there's a whistle, a traveling call, and so a turnover for Singapore. Shuffling his feet was Liu. Yeah, and a little, a little anxious, a little eager there. I'd love to see them get another touch to John Fields or Xavier Alexander tuck in the ring. Xavier Alexander, 4-7, quietly efficient right now. Nine, six rebounds, four, or sorry, six assists, four rebounds to start this game. Here's Herring. He's got 10. Let's check that. He's got eight. Whistle away from the ball. Somebody's knocked down an offensive foul. That's uh, going to go against Hidayat. Pushed off against uh, Desmond O. So the pesky defense of Desmond paying off, getting them another possession. He just has such good reactions. He's not fast. He's 32 years old. He doesn't even have a quick first step. He just knows. He, he's, he's one of these guys that has the experience. He's great anticipation yeah. that time. Hidayat, a foul out of frustration. Alexander feels in front of him with the screen. Over to... Jared Young, and you can see that coming a mile away, guys. And this is the play they've ran multiple times this year with a ball screen at the top to the back screen on the weak side of the wing there, and Jared Young goes over the top for the alley-oop. Dump pass over to Maxi Esho. Alexander on him overcomes Fields to provide the help. Hadaya thought about it. Left-hand dribble, taking the ball to the house, throws it away. Last touch by CLS and another turnover so Singapore will get it back and yeah, you know I like the late double by John Fields does not commit too early waits for the guy posting up that time Maxi Esho making his move also on the penetration by Hidayat so perfect timing on the double by John Fields so Singapore stretching the lead to eight Alexander with you camped out on the left hand side Fields with the screen Fields stays outside catch and shoot by Hung Han Bin is off the mark Herring with the board back he comes patiently no urgency for CLS. I mean, uh, Harry now. Kick way back outside. Good ball movement. Esho. Still Esho. Alexander on him. Inside it goes on the floor and another turnover. Throwing away. Coming up with it is Young. He's got open court. Alexander to his left. Open look for Larry Lou for three. Off the mark. Rebound fought for and controlled by John Fields. Gets his own rebound and it's tied up. Let's see where the possession arrow is going to go for Singapore. That's the energy of John Fields there. Getting another possession for Singapore. What effort on that second jump to secure it and come back to get that basketball and offensive rebound. Great timing by Watkins down low. as He is successful tying him up. So good job of uh, coming back from adversity that time. Watch. It looked like Watkins was out of the play. Coming right back in at the possession arrow, unfortunately for them, going to Singapore. So a fresh 14 on the clock for them. Young. Around one screen. Over to Ung Han Bin. Larry Liu on that left-hand side. Alexander will take the ball to the house. And what do we have here? We'll go on Max Echo. Now, you know, Chuck, the big difference here, I feel, is that the, unlike Game 4, it's the Slingers who are putting a lot of pressure on the defense of the Knights by attacking the basket, also attacking in transition. 10-6 to six advantage by the Slingers in terms of fast break points, and also, we mentioned earlier, inside points in favor of the Slingers. Yeah, they're doing that almost every time. You can bet if we know if the coaching staff knows it as well. Piggybacking on that, this is going to be their 10th and 11th three throw compared to CLS's one. And I think a story point that we need to start talking about is Maxi Escho has not scored in this game yeah. yet. The import MVP nominee, probably the most talented offensive player on CLS, only three shots, zero points to this point in the game. Now they are focusing on him. You can see Alexander is on him, and every time he gets a step on Alexander, overcomes John Fields, and the rotation is on the ball for Singapore. They're doing a great job of switching so far, guys. Herring down that left-hand side. He's got Esho up top, down low. Oh, boy, he got a step on Fields that time. Fields cannot recover, but it doesn't matter. Watkins fighting for position underneath, and Fields is going to get the foul, and that'll be two on John. 
Very poor choice there by Jaron Young. John Fields is walled up. Jaron Young did not have to reach in there. This is going to be a tough finish for Daryl Watkins, and he bails him out with a little reach in there. No, no need for that foul. In fact, that is Jaron Young, and that will be three on him. And you know, for the Knights, that's exactly the ploy I'm going to go to with Maxi Escher not playing his game so far. Make the defense react, force them to help out inside, get Daryl Watkins going, and hopefully that will open things up for Maxi Escher. So they're going to have to get Jaron Young out of there with those three fouls. So not a very good first half for Jaron Young. Singapore doing it anyway. Nine-point lead in the crowd, letting uh, Watkins have it. One out of two. Alexander with the board. Nine-point lead with under six minutes to play here for Singapore. Hope you're enjoying it wherever uh, you are. And a throw away by Alexander and taking it to the house the other way is Jawado emphatically. Uh, he has been the X factor of the CLS Knights so far. He's keeping them in the game with the energy he's playing with on both ends. So the lead trimmed to seven. Remember, Young not in the game with those three fouls. Screen offered up by Fields, getting it back to him. Good pursuit there by Esho. And another stepping out of bounds there. Larry Liu now with a couple of turnovers. And really, I mean, these turnovers, the slingers are coming in streaks. And you said it, Chuck. This has been the Achilles heels. They get that a little bit of separation. They get 10-point yeah. separation. All of a sudden, they turn the ball over two or three times. And now it's a seven-point game again. They have to take care of that basketball, especially when they get that big separation that they've worked so hard for. Now, the pass, what we've seen when Singapore does that, the three ball comes out for the night. So let's see if history repeats itself. Long way long back in the game. Baseball pass over. Now up top is Jawado. Delvin Go checking back into the game. Herring on the right-hand side. Down low it goes to Watkins. Watkins bumping, grinding, turning, firing, foul. That'll be on field. That'll be two on him. And, you know, same ploy once again. Get uh, Dow Watkins isolated on one side against John Fields. Go hope for them to go single coverage and then draw the foul against Fields. Third team foul on Singapore. Two on Fields, three on Young. So fouls starting to become an issue on the other side of the ball. Herring with two. And that's about it. Great in-game adjustments by Coach Relson. Obviously, Max Oesho isn't, wor uh, isn't working right now, so he's going to a different option. He's going to option B, option C, and it's been working these last three or four minutes. So great in-game in adjustments by him. Well, just to make it a five-point game, Singapore has led by as many as 12. And Watkins doing his job, hitting two of two. And checking into the game of the X Factor. We've talked about him, Russell Lowe. Now this is a crucial point in the game here for the Slingers. If, they, if Russell Lowe can give quality minutes, just give, continue to give them some separation here. Just enough time for Fields or Jaron Young to come back in. They would like to set Young for the rest of the half, no doubt about that. And somehow, with the defense coalescing around him, Young lets it go on the finger roll for two. Xavier Alexander willing his way to a seven-point lead here with 13 points and five of eight. What a fantastic finish over the top of Watkins there. Long way long. Gives it up to Watkins, but they foul before that, and that'll go on Russell Lowe. Team foul number four on Singapore, so one more, and uh, CLS will be in the bonus with 4.40 to go here in the second quarter. Singapore doing a little bit better job, gentlemen, of coming out on the three. They're going to call a timeout right now, but do they have the personnel on the way that uh, CLS is so good with the ball switches and rotating the ball on the outside? Do they have the personnel, really, the foot speed to roll over and cover these uh, shooters as they shoot the three, Scotty? Well, well, this is the time where you expect the, the locals to really have to step up. In the games that uh, Singapore has won, the bench has really stepped up. They've, they've averaged about 17 points per game in the so this is the time where you need Russell, Larry, and even Desmond as well as Delvin Go to really step up for the Slingers. On the other side of the ball, uh, Coach Rousen calmly, collectively went ahead and went with his subs, uh, Scotty McKinnon. Uh, you know, went ahead and took his lumps early on at the beginning of the second quarter. They went down by as many as 9, 10, but bided his time. Young picks up a foul, his third. Uh, John Fields picks up a foul, his second. And before you know it, a couple turnovers. Bam, Knight's nice right back in it. Yeah, and he's a fearless coach. He's not afraid to go deep into his bench and give his give guys certain chances. And what can you say about the X-Factor? Brandon Jawado right now, 12 points. He has kept them, single-handedly kept them in this basketball game. When you talk about Watkins and Escho only having five points combined, Brandon Jawado's done a really good job in this first half to keep them in reach with the Singapore Slingers. Alexander with 13 for Singapore. Young with seven. Fields uh, has uh, contributed with uh, five points, but again with those two fouls. 
So a little bit of concern. We, we, we got a lot of uh, contributions from the local guys uh, early on the game for the Slingers uh, guys, uh, Delvin Go and uh, Larry Lou, but nothing since then. And what you like, just going back to the point of Jawato, what you like about Jawato is that he gives you so many things. Uh, he can hurt you from the inside, hurt you from the outside, plays the passing lanes extremely well, and also plays great defense on the wing. I guess what we're saying, guys, is no lead is safe here. Oh, yeah. You know, if, if you're Singapore, you got a 12-point lead. Well I mean, that, that can be gone in a heartbeat, and it has been. So now the lead trimmed to seven with 439 to go here in the second quarter. Wong Wei Long dribbling out on top. Desmond O on him. He brushes past Desmond O. Backs it up, back outside to Watkins. Turns it over. Herring catch and shoot from Freesville. It's going to be well short on that. Loose ball on the floor, picked up by Desmond O. Opportunity now for Singapore. Alexander, still Alexander. Kick back outside. Rotating over, wide open is uh, Russell Lowe, but uh, a little bit out of his range. Alexander will try and wheel and deal on the inside. Loses the ball, picked up by who? It'll be Herring coming out of the pack. Herring, one guy to beat. Gets the ball off the long way long. Wide long. Kick back outside, Herring, who didn't take this wide open shot. Jawado will, though. Fires up a long three. He's going to be short with it as well. Alexander with the rebound. And Brandon Jawado should have shot that first one. He, he had a great catch transition three there. He, he took his time, put a dribble into it. When he should have shot the first one, it would have been golden. So both these uh, teams in a little bit of a slump now as far as their shooting goes. Alexander reaches over. Wide open look for Larry Liu. Left hand side going to be well short. And out of bounds it goes, luckily for Singapore, touched by Douglas Herring and Larry Liu. Can't be pleased with that last effort. Well, that was a good pass there on the part of Alexander, but for Larry, you, you just have to stick with it. Get, get your feet squared, get your stroke set up, and, you know, just launch it with confidence. Now, bad news for the singers. Good news, they get the ball back. Bad news, five seconds, and Larry, uh, check that. Delvin Go will go out of the game. Ung Han Bin will come back in. So five seconds in which to make something positive happen with this possession. Alexander. Oh boy, gang tackled outside, no call. 24 second violation, CLS will take the ball back. Great defense by CLS there, contesting the three, made him put him down, and uh, they just ran out of time there in the 24 second shot. The thing that Singapore has to do right now, they need serviceable minutes from Muscle yeah. Low, and those, it's Xavier and four locals. They need to try and keep this lead, they don't want CLS to go on a run. Singapore would dearly love to just keep the same team out on the floor, maybe Substitute a couple more locals in and out of the game for these last 3.33, so the fields and more importantly, Young does not pick up another foul. So that's the plan right now. And Rouseland, obviously knowing that, will try and take advantage. Let's see if he attacks right away. Right away. I'm going exclusively to Dado Watkins here in the post. Probably straight up or off the baseline screen. Herring gets a step on the baseline, up and in. And right around... Uh, Number 32 for Singapore, Russell Lowe. That's also because Russell Lowe is too preoccupied defending Daryl Watkins. Uh, when Doug Herring got uh, Larry Liu beat, it was an easy layup for him. 37-32, the score should read. It's a five-point game. So mix up there in the uh, graphics. We'll sort that out. Lowe off the dribble around the screen. Spin move inside. Turn. Fires one hand. Wild-looking shot off the mark. One and out. Maxi Yesho with the ball. He'll slow it up. Doug Herring with ball, so opportunity here now for CLS to take control of this game a little bit. Reverse the momentum inside, just like that. With Doug, with John Fields on the bench there, there's two attacks, no rim protector. The defensive player on the bench with two fouls. Daryl Watkins with a dunk, the possession before, Herring with the finish at the rim. No one there on the help side protecting the rim with John Fields sitting on the bench with two fouls. So timeout, Singapore. The score is 37-34. They're hanging on for dear life. They'd love to go in the locker room with the lead, but little bounce pass inside. Great vision by Doug Herring. They knew what was coming right on. Look at this. There's your separation right there. Nothing uh, Russell Lowe Lo could do. In fact, it was news to him when the pass came through. Larry Liu uh, mismatch there on the high aspect of the game or the play. And also, Chuck, because you have Jawato on the far corner, there's no choice for Anheim Bin to help out because he's got to stay home when Jawato has already hit, uh, I believe, two th triples in the, uh, make it one triple in the game. So let's see if Singapore sticks with the game plan and does not bring John Fields in. You can bet that uh, Jaron Young will beat Velcro to the bench. But, uh, you know, what do you guys do? I mean, uh, you can't continue to get beat downstairs like this time and time again. Uh, it's not going to end well. If I'm Coach Neal, I'm risking John Fields inside the paint. Uh, tell him just to keep his hands up. Just be a big body in the paint. Just don't allow those easy passes down into Watkins. So Herring, the only one with any sort of semblance of foul trouble on the other side of the ball. He's got two, but he's a guard. So able to avoid the contact a little bit more than somebody like John Fields. 
They will stick with plan A. John Fields still on the bench. So Coach Nio rolling the dice and hoping that his locals can come through with him. Russell Lowe to inbound and getting the ball off to Alexander. Alexander magnificent as usual here in the first half. Leading all scorers on the floor with 13. Larry Liu back outside and Desmond O injected back into the game. Look how far Singapore away from the basket. Let's see if they coalesce bound Alexander trying to take on three players at one time. They can and a foul. I would love to see Delvin go get involved in this game again. He had four of five, nine points in the first five minutes of this game. He hasn't taken a shot again. He's just kind of become the invisible man. He needs to be active, especially with Fields and Young on the bench right now. He has to be a scorer. Oh, that was Delvin Go with the push. So it will be CLS ball, and they are in the bonus right now. 15 foul on Singapore, so chance for the Knights to creep to within one. And you notice also how CLS so methodical, did not panic uh, despite the big advantage or more than about a 10, 8 to 10 point advantage by the Slingers. Just methodically chipped away at that lead. And right now, uh, Jawata with a chance to bring it down to single digit. Yeah, more importantly, stopping the clock at 226. So also favors the uh, CLS Knights due to the fact that they have a stronger lineup in the game at the moment. So Singapore will try and uh, grid it out for the next 226. But every time uh, Xavier Alexander gets the ball, gentlemen, uh, three or four blue shirts just coalesce right on. It's going to be very, very difficult sailing for the Slingers if they're, they're going to go with this kind of a lineup here with the last 220. But we'll see. Desmond O, long way long on him. Wide open look for Larry Liu. Fall back jumper is going to miss it. Rebound. Delvin Go up. Can't hit it. Follow. Oh, yeah. Delvin Go on cue. Offensive board for a six is 11 point. He needs to be aggressive around that rim with Brandon Duato, who's 30 pounds lighter than him, guarding him. Nice job by Larry Liu and Alexander to screen uh, Watkins out of it. Well, mismatch right here. Larry Liu going against Watkins. He loses it. Right in the lane. Picking it up by Russell Lowe. Back down the court. It goes to... Desmond O, wide open, look downstairs, the reverse in for Delvin Go. How about the pass there from Desmond O? That's exactly the answer that the Singapore Slingers needed uh, just to get them some more separation. Well, just when we were saying the locals had not really produced since the first three or four minutes, threading the needle downstairs, Desmond O, and unbeknownst to Watkins, sneaking up behind, controlling the baseline, sensing the presence of both Esho and Watkins did the only thing he could do, Scotty, the little reverse off the glass. Well, you said it, Chuck. What luck the local was going to step up for Singapore, and it's been Delvin Go. 13.6 rebounds, 6 of 8, and he can, needs to continue to attack. He cannot go invisible. He's too important for this basketball team on the defensive side and the offensive side. Oh, of two. Delvin Go 
Don't want him dribbling. Gives the ball off to Alexander. Opportunity here for the Slingers as they dodge the bullet. Alexander up top. That's still coming out to meet him. Alexander left hand dribble over to the left side. Desmond O. Yes, gets away from the defender. Can't get it to finish. So one and out and a foul. Reach in by Desmond O. A little bit of frustration there by Desmond. Yeah, not a smart foul there. Missed the shot, but you cannot compound the mistake with another one. Now you're going to send a better free throw shooter than Maxi Escher to the line and Darrell Watkins. Well, I'll tell you, you've got to make that shot. I think uh, Desmond O. Was, uh, had his peripheral vision zeroed in on uh, Maxi Escher at that time. So frustrating. Yeah. I, I hear you, MJ. <laughs> Can't say it, but I hear you. And that's the cardinal <laughs> sin in basketball, compound mistakes. If you make a mistake that's at right. one end, you never want to do it back-to-back -back on the other end. Boy, third straight miss by the CLS Knights at the line. Watkins this time, the villain. And 119 to go here. And a raucous game. Uh, not the, for if you're a basketball purist, Marco, uh, not sort of the, I mean, it's been sloppy at times, let's put it that way. Well, I think if you're the Singapore Slingers, you'd be happy with that, that type of a pace here in the second quarter. So far, they've outscored uh, the, the Knights 14 to 12 or 14 to 13, but that low scoring second quarter is just to the tune of Coach Neo. So, zeroing in on the one minute mark, Delvin go, one bounce, wait for traffic to come across, can't get that to fall. Nice job of sealing it off by Watkins, and back comes Singapore. Wong Wei Long off to the races, holds it up, gives it over to Esho. Esho, who knocking one player, wow! No foul at all. So 41-38, three-point game. Maxi Esho would not be denied. Alexander in the lane now. Hop step, loses it out of bounds. Last touch by CLF. And what I liked about Maxi Esho there was he was assertive. He was aggressive. He went to the rim and he said, someone get in front of me and someone stop me. And that's what you need your world import MVP to do, to put his head down and say, this is my basketball team. I'm the leader. We're either going to win or lose on my hand. And he did just that. There's a hand popping in behind by Esho, the guy you talked about, Ung Han Bin. Alexander with 35 and change to go here. 12 on the shot clock. Ung Han Bin lets one defender pass by him and hits the three. Just in the nick of time again. Ung Han Bin, his first bucket of the half. That's a nice find there by Alexander. Miscommunication on the uh, two guys on Alexander. Good find by the, by the, by the MVP. Herring, 14 to go. Shot clock off. They spread it out. Ung Han Bin on him. Larry Liu checked that. Oh boy, got the separation that time. Gives it off to Watkins with the clutch. 2.2 to go. Time and time again, Doug Herring has made that play and he has made the defense pay with those types of penetrations. So Singapore getting it done with uh, their two big guns on the bench, or two of them anyway. They hold on for dear life. They take the 44-40 lead into the dressing room at the halftime. We'll be right back with our famous APL halftime show. Marco Benitez, Chuck Reiner, Scotty McKinnon here when we return. What makes a champion? Passion, grit, determination. A challenge can make or break you. Work hard in silence. Let success be your noise. Never stop, you can only get better. The only one that can hold you back is yourself. We are the composers of our own destiny. Nothing is out of reach if we dare to dream the impossible. Believe the unbelievable and never take no for an answer because greatness is in all of us for we are all champions. Fields drives in on Holyfield who gets the rejection. Fields again drives in and is rejected again. Holy Fields. Elliot against Young. 
Six seconds. Elliott, nice speed inside. And Holyfield with the dunk. Trouble finding the bottom of the net. There is a lid for the mono basket. Step back and the jumper from Douglas Eric. Fluid motion from Douglas Eric. You see him do that a lot of times this season. Does not, he should not get into foul trouble. As you know, that was one of the things that hampered him in game two. How about this three on one going the other way? Malcolm White! Great feed coming from Singletary, and that is an indication of the energy level of Mono Vampire in this game. John Fields out of his comfort zone, and he is winded. Elliott goes up and in. And that's how strong he should be finishing inside the paint, challenging the big guy. Misses a three-pointer. Larry Liu is the first of the rebound. Underneath for Delvin Go! Larry Liu over the top of the zone to the weak side. The big man, Delvin Go, with the alley oop. Mish with the basketball. He has been huge. Coming up with defensive plays and knocking out that last triple. Mish with the Rondo move! Four to 40 in favor of the Singapore Slingers over the CLS Knights. This is game five. This is for all the marbles here for the ABL Championships 2018 2019. As we look at some of the fans here, they have been treated to maybe not a classically well played game, gentlemen, but uh, a game nevertheless has been exciting from start to finish. And uh, Scotty, let's start with you. What has Singapore done right in this game? Well, Singapore's ability to control the plant paint. They've out-rebounded CLS 27 to 15. They have 13 offensive rebounds to four. They have 28 points in the paint to 22. 14 second chance points to, to six. So what I'm trying to say is Singapore needs to continue to attack inside, outside. Okay, Marco, on the other side of the ball, CLS, they've done a lot, lot right. Yeah. Well, I think if you're Coach Brian Rosam, you look at the positives. You have three guys in double figures talking about Watkins, Herring, and Jawato. And you have your number one player in Maxi Esho only with two points. So you expect Esho to get his numbers in the second half, especially with the defense keyed in on Daryl Watkins. So hopefully things will pick up for you. So you're, you're only down by four points. You, you've got a lot of composure. You've got a good point guard in Doug Herring. And you still have Maxi Esho raring to go in the second half. Okay, foul situations. Jaron Young with three. Uh, John Fields with two. Singapore, Scotty sort of dodged a bullet that second quarter. Yeah, and you're going to flip that as a positive for your coach, Neon, Coach Johnson. Uh, Young and Field spent the last five minutes on yeah. the bench in that second quarter, and you're still at four points. So when you bring them back in, that momentum's going to get back, and hopefully they can get back into the rhythm that they were in the first half. Okay, and the other side of the ball. Not too much worry for CLS either, Marco, because uh, they spent their time with them. I mean, Coach Rouse did a good job of interjecting different players into the game, and they never really lost contact in the ball. He's got to feel pretty confident at the moment now, especially playing away, enemy territory, only down by four and a half. And, you know, you, if you're going to find Rosa, you go back to that first game where you came out of the gates of the, in the second half in the third quarter outscoring Singapore 25 to 12 and you're going to draw from that experience and hopefully come up with more energy get those 50 50 balls get those second chance points and get your MVP talking about Maxi, Maxi Escher into the game and into the flow of things in the second half okay as we're looking at first half highlights right here uh, Singapore in white that was John Fields off the dribble and uh, Doug Herring, what a marvelous first half he had. And uh, that guy has been a thorn in the side of Singapore ever since uh, they came here a long time ago in January, averaging 15 and a half points against the Slingers. Uh, he's almost put those numbers up, Scotty, in the first half. Well, what I love about Brandon Juwato is his fearlessness. He is not afraid of the mm -hmm. moment, moment, and he is owning it right now. 13 points, 5 of 8, but every shot he takes is confident. You saw it in the warm-up. Guys dancing. The guy's excited to play a game that means something. Yeah, they desperately need Jaron Young. Singapore's with the steal there. Juwato again on the break talking about uh, the guy that has been the thorn in the side of Singapore. There he is on the break for two of his first half, 13 points. Xavier Alexander, uh, as you said, Scotty, finding a way, willing it at that time. Remember the Knights had almost drawn level with the Slingers and needing desperately a bucket, needing some leadership, and their big man steps up and gives it to him. 
you know, one thing, if, if, you're the, if you're the Knights, you have to take care of the basketball a lot better in the second half. You have seven turnovers in the first half, and you have to continue to be more consistent hitting that three-point shot. You're in a good place, about four triples in the game. Hopefully, your, 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 your rhythm will get back in the second half. Okay, here are some of the uh, stats. 11 assists to six, uh, rebounds 27-15. Scotty alluded to that. Field goals, both teams uh, in the 40s, I think, uh, the, uh, because of the rebounds, you know, uh, uh, CLS is shot 48% to 42 for Singapore, but because of the rebound differential, Singapore owning the league, the bench boys, I don't know what they're talking about there. Singapore, nine turnovers to seven. Singapore throughout the series, guys, has made more turnovers than CLS. Yeah, they need to take care of the basketball. And they, they, the, the sad, the, the poor thing for Singapore is they've turned it over the wrong times. They got that separation of 10 points, two or three turnovers, now it's back down to five. Get a separation of eight, one or two turnovers, now transition points, transition three, it's back down to four points. So they can't turn the ball over at opportune, opportune times for CLS. Okay, so uh, Delvin Go, uh, he has been a, a monster this first half. They needed him right now to step up, and that's exactly what he's done. Here's some highlights of him in the first half. Look at him, never giving up on the ball, up and over. I mean, a great peripheral vision there over the right shoulder. Here he is again, fighting for position underneath and uh, really asserting himself after three so-so games by his standards, a brilliant first game, but they've sort of disappeared games two, three, and four, and I'm sure that they talked about that. We talked about it before the game in the interviews uh, with Xavier Alexander. His eyes lit up when I said, you know, we need Delvin go to step up, and he said, we certainly do, and he's done that the first half. Yeah, I'm excited for Delvin to continue with this maturation process because I don't think he realizes how good he is, and he's starting to realize that he is a local MVP candidate. On 13 points, six and nine, and seven rebounds in the first half, no one can match up with him from that local position in this league. No one is 6'6", no one is 240 pounds, and when he continues to attack, he is such an assertive and good basketball player. The song has only been halfway sung, ladies and gentlemen, 44 to 40. Uh, you know, we thought that uh, they would be this close, so let's take a look at uh, Xavier Alexander here. There he is, a swooping dunk over the top, and he can really elevate. We saw this, watch him again. Another two of his 13. What great hang time he has. And uh, whenever Singapore singers have needed a bucket, and they needed it early and often here in this game uh, because CLS just keeps coming back at them. Guys, I uh, want to shift gears just a little bit. What about the three-point shooting of CLS? Critical, would you agree, in the second half? Well, I think it's going to be critical for them, especially to open up the floor for Dal Watkins and the penetrations of Maxi Esho. And you're just going back to Xavier Alexander, what more can you ask from Alexander? 13 points, seven rebounds, seven is pretty much doing everything an MVP is supposed to do. Okay, so that's uh, pretty much wrapping it up here at the OCBC Arena. And uh, match, match one uh, highlights we've got for you uh, coming up in just a minute. And uh, let's take a look at that. Here we are, a Herring on the jumper. 10 points, three assists in this game. And there is a off the miss right there, Herring. Uh, he is everywhere. 10 points, three assists. And here he is uh, getting off on the defender using that left shoulder to good effect. Douglas Herring averaged over 15 points a game during the season. Averaged over 15 points a game, almost identical stats against the the slingers as he had in the regular season but uh, you know great players step up at great yeah. times and uh, you know it, you know, say my old high school coach used to say and that's as far as I got my basketball career uh, best players have the best games against the best teams and that's what we're looking at tonight so obviously we're looking at Herring we're looking at Alexander we're looking at Fields we're looking at Maxi Esho you made a good point uh, Marco Benitez I still think that we have not heard the best from Maxi Esho in the second half. I'm sure that he's going to start lighting it up at any time. And, you know, as well as uh, Doug Herring, I think he will take more and more control of this basketball game. They're going to need him to penetrate and dish down to Daryl Watkins or possibly Maxi Esho or kick out to their outside shooters and really try to put his imprint more in the second half. Okay, we've got all to play for in the second half. We'll be back for a third quarter action and uh, more stuff on our halftime show here at the OCBC Arena. If you've been lost somewhere, 44 to 40 in favor of Singapore over the CLS Knights. Game five here for all the Marbles, ABL Championships 218, 219 when we return. What makes a champion? Passion, grit, determination. A challenge can make or break you. Work hard in silence. Let success be your noise. Never stop. You can only 
get better. The only one that can hold you back is yourself. We are the composers of our own destiny. Nothing is out of reach if we dare to dream the impossible. Believe the unbelievable and never take no for an answer because greatness is in all of us for we are all champions. What makes a champion? Passion, grit, determination. A challenge can make or break you. Work hard in silence. Let success be your noise. Never stop, you can only get better. The only one that can hold you back is yourself. We are the composers of our own destiny. Nothing is out of reach if we dare to dream the impossible. Believe the unbelievable and never take no for an answer because greatness is in all of us for we are all champions. What makes a champion? Passion, grit, determination. A challenge can make or break you. Work hard in silence. Let success be your noise. Never stop, you can only get better. The only one that can hold you back is yourself. We are the composers of our own destiny. Nothing is out of reach if we dare to dream the impossible. Believe the unbelievable and never take no for an answer because greatness is in all of us. For we are all champions. Fields drives in on Holyfield who gets the rejection. Fields again drives in and is rejected again. Holyfield. Singapore Slingers against the CLS Knights. 44 to 40, the home team Slingers nursing this four point lead, but it hasn't been without its trepidations. They jumped out to a nine point lead. In fact, we're up nine to nothing. In fact, we're up 12 to two, but back came storming CLS Knights uh, behind the play of uh, Douglas Herring and others. Watkins also laying it down the gauntlet on John Fields in the first half, outscoring him 10 to 2. And of course, the play by Brandon Jawado, who has always been, as we said, a uh, nemesis for the Singapore Singers on the other side of the ball. Xavier Alexander doing what the MVP of the team and the league should do, laying it down with 13 points. Jaron Young in an uneven half for him, seven points, but in a big butt, three fouls. We'll see if they start him in the uh, third quarter, and they do. Chuck Schreiner along with Marco Benitez and uh, my buddy Scott McKinnon and guys uh, tell you what maybe I don't know we thought it was going to be close uh, maybe the game has been a little bit too sloppy maybe I just my expectations are through the roof of course but uh, tell you what anybody's game oh yeah definitely uh, no patterns emerging as of yet and but one thing is important here for the slingers they've got to get John Fields going only with uh, seven points I believe in, in in the ball game and he really has been, or made that five points rather, and has been saddled with foul trouble. Currently, he's been outplayed by Darrell Watkins, and both, either one of them, has been the barometer for wins and losses. And we have seen what happens when uh, Fields gets outplayed by Watkins for scrum on the floor, and let's see, nice ball movement. Watkins with the eight or nine footer, misses it. Jaron Young back into the game. Yeah, Watkins had a monster 28 point, uh, 16 rebound game. The other night in that game four win by CLS, he also outplayed Fields in game one, which also resulted in a win by CLS. So uh, the two games Fields has outplayed Watkins. Oh boy, what do we have here? Whistle, was it away from the ball or is that going to be on Fields? If it is, that will be three on him, a push underneath. Well, I think they call it a, a three second three violation. Three second violation, okay. So away we go. Meanwhile, there's a game going on. Jawado preambulating through the lane. 
Strong move to the basket, counted in one, Max Yeso. That's a really good sign for the CLS Knights starting the second half. Yeso puts his head down, direct line drive, the body control to finish with that right hand in the and one, and four points now with a foul shot to start this second half and get himself back feeling good about his ability to attack the rim and shoot the basketball. And that's exactly what he did a couple minutes before the halftime, if you remember, guys. Second time, he's been like a bulldozer in the three-point play, so all of a sudden, the lead is trimmed to one. So back come the Slingers, and Alexander coming at you from left to right, getting the ball over to Jaron Young. Back screen by Fields, off the ball, off the mark again, so 0 for 2 is Young to open up the third yeah, quarter. That's back-to-back -back jumpers for, for Jaron Young. He's got to be more aggressive. And, you know, they only have a slight advantage in terms of points in the paint. Yeah. Mismatch there. They couldn't quite take advantage. There's Esho again coming out the body up against him as Delvin go. Back up jumper by Esho. You said it, Chuck. He just needed a couple to get going, and now he's got seven points on three of six, and you can see him walking back, a little yeah. hop in his step now. Nice with the lead. They've led a couple times during the game. Here's John Fields. One-way traffic for him. He's going to put it in. Rim runner there by John Fields, so 46-45 Slingers. That's what you like about Jaron Young, also using his athleticism to get above the rim, get that tip in going. Herring, left hand, Fields comes out to meet him. Esho camped out on the left-hand side. There's Watkins as he mismatch. Left side, long way long, way off the mark. That time Fields with the rebound. Back comes Alexander, pushing it. Young way off to the left, and a reach-in foul, and one! When you, when you talk about leadership, when you talk about captaincy, when you talk about MVP, there's one name that comes to, to mind for me, and it's Xavier Alexander. 15 points, puts his head down, Euro step, and one, and look at that body control to get the ball up on the rim and give it a chance to go in. Yeah, Mexi Escher with his second foul. Watch it right here. Now from this point, from right here, it becomes all downhill, and everybody is chasing him now, and Alexander doing what he does. 48-45. Marco made a really good point in the first half about timely possessions, yeah. timely buckets. CLS has just gone on a roll. They got the, the lead for the first time in the second half here. Singapore led for 18 minutes in the first half, and right when they need a bucket, who gets it? Xavier Alexander. Yeah, back to square run. Four, one, the four-point lead at the end of the half, four-point lead again. Herring, Larry Liu on him, dumping the ball down, oh boy. And you got to let him go uh, somehow getting over the top. Nice job by Herring to catch a... Uh, Watkins as he gets separation from Fields. So back to a two-point game. Fields, left hand, bumping, grinding inside. Can't get the ball. Follow again. Yes. Who else? Delvin Go again. Now we talked about Delvin Go. Most effective inside the paint, getting those second chance opportunities. No reason for him to stay outside. Just keep on mixing it up and get those putbacks. Back to a four-point lead. Herring again on loose. Working that right side. Watkins getting away from Fields. Long way long. Nothing there. Running into the screen was Young. Kick back outside, Jawado. Delvin Go. Back up jumper, off balance. Won't make that one. Alexander off to the races. He's got New off to his left. He's going to give it to Field. Field will finish it up. Yeah! And this is a great thing for John Fields. Marco made a great point. Barometer. John Fields and Daryl Watkins are the barometer. And for him to get a basket in the transition like that is a great thing going forward. In transition is right. That's where John Fields is at his best. Herring backing it up. Watkins there to supply the screen. Now they switch. Mismatch inside. Liu and Watkins. Liu gets backed up and throws the ball in the lane. Alexander with the steal. Young's ahead of them. Still Alexander loses it and saved off the leg of Wang Wei Long. It'll be Singapore ball. You know, great things happen whenever you have Xavier Alexander coming downhill. So whenever he has the opportunity, he's got to attack. There's nobody there on the defense of the night that can stop him going down here. Little bit slow, and Maxi Escho, very lucky he did not get called for his third foul there. Around the picket fence comes Jaron Young, turns, one-handed jumper is going to be off the mark, and Escho cleans it up. Back comes Herring and company. They trail by six, 6-6-17 six, six, to go. Jumper right there, boy, oh boy. Lid on the basket so far for CLS. Alexander, still Alexander hitting Fields. Fields, a finger roll for two. There's John Fields in tr transition again with that rim run. And Singapore's made a real valiant effort to push the ball in transition on their defense here to start this third quarter, and it's been successful. That's where they are at their best. Now, Coach Rousen would say that CLS night is a quicker team, and I would not disagree with him. But whenever Xavier Alexander starts that fast break, 
He creates stuff for his teammates because you cannot let him go downhill like that. Watch John Fields. Nobody picking him up at all in transition. And, you know, the couple of wins of the Slingers, they've outscored the Knights 13 fast break points, plus 13 in those in those wins that they've gotten in the sea. So they have to continue putting pressure on the transition D of the Knights. Now, same old thing. Uh, let's see if it dogs Singapore again. They do get some separation in the score, guys, only to let it drip away again. And usually it's been Doug Herring. Uh, that can supply from outside, but we got Max Yesho heating up a little bit. I wonder if they go to the three ball. Yeah, and I think the next set that Brian Relson runs is going to be some kind of brawl action for ball screen action for Max Yesho because yeah. he has a nice little rhythm going and he is a dynamic spo scorer, especially because he can shoot that three with such proficiency to 42% this year. CLS shooting themselves in the foot a couple times, guys. They've turned the ball over right in the middle of the lane. You so uh, that, uh, you know, that they both had seven uh, turnovers. Sorry, uh, Marco, seven turnovers now. I think it's 10 to seven in favor of uh, Singapore on the differential between the turnovers as we look at Jaron Young. So just to add to what Scotty was saying, if you're if you're the Slingers, you just have to play on good on as the you cannot gamble on those steals that uh, like what uh, John Fields did on the previous possession for for Darrell Watkins play great defense and then continue to get good shot selection on your end of the floor. Okay, so here we go. CLS ball. On the near side here, Wong Wei Long, token resistance on the full court. Young on Wong Wei Long. Herring holding up traffic there. Quick pass inside. Esho turns, looks, fires, good. What an up fake and step through for the dunk there. Link by link by link, Maxi Esho. We said you're not going to keep him down very long. He uh, had a disappointing first half, but uh, coming storming back here in quarter number three, 5.39 to go. Jaron Young, bounce pass and gives it away. Fourth turnover now for Jaron Young. And look out over on the side, now five on four. Let's see if Wang Wei Long can take advantage of it. He pops through. Back out to Esho. Esho, no hesitation at all. Fires away the three, no good. Out of the hands of Watson, picked up by Delvin Gove. Now in the hands of Alexander, down for it. It goes Larry Lou from three, fires, no good. Stepping in the lane and knocking it away, it will be CLS ball. Golden opportunity there for yeah. Singapore going by the, by the wayside. Slinger's dodging a bullet as well. That was a good look for Maxi Escho. You think after he hit that layup, he would knock down that three-point shot. So could have had a better shot here if you're the Slingers. So they give the ball back to uh, it'll be CLS. Six-point lead by Singapore. It's been that type of game, 5-15. Crowd chanting defense. Long way long to check it into Herring. Larry Liu on Herring. He's done a credible job on him. Wouldn't be surprised if they ran the same play. And they keep going to that right side every single time. Herring still on him. Esho trying to force the issue here inside the lane. Loses it momentarily. Loses it to Alexander and then compounds it. Scotty, just like you were saying. You foul, you sorry, you lose a hand on the ball, you make a mistake, then you compound it by fouling. Yeah, and Max Esso's animated the ref there because there were three or four reaches before yeah. he lost that basketball. And then for him to turn it over, he was very frustrated. Great pressure, like you said, Chuck, by the slingers there. Okay, so third foul on Esho. So the worm will turn, as they say. Go with the screen. Larry Liu gets it over to Jaron Young. Young around one screen. He is due, slips inside the lane, gets it over to John Fields. John Fields, what a pass by Jaron Young. And you like what the Slingers are doing, deliberately looking for their big man off the penetration. John Fields in the right place at the right time. Nice dime there by Jaron Young. Let's see if those three fouls to show slows up that show at all. Boy, a lot of contact going on between Herring and Lou. Post-up move, stepping in as Alexander with the help. Nice job of Lou with the foul. Douglas Herring is surprisingly very good in the post yeah. there. For a wiry guy, he's only about 6'1", probably 180, soaking wet. He does a really good job of using his hips and using his body to create separation and then step to the rim. It's really impressive skill, and not many guards can do that. Yeah, Larry Liu owns two inches on him, 6'3", 183. So he will go to the line for a couple. Normally an excellent free throw shooter. Knights uh, shot themselves in the foot at one point in the tail into the second half or second quarter guys they missed three free throws in a row hits them both so back to a seven six point game 57 51 and so far the knights have evened up the number of free throw attempts knights are right now seven of 12 while the slingers eight of 12 in the game go looking for cutters nobody there 
turns the corner, fires it across to Larry Liu. Go again, off the dribble, still go. Takes the ball to the house and up and in. Wow! Delvin Go, 15, 17 points now, but everything's at the rim. Yeah. The Slingers need to continue to attack the rim. The, the rebounding advantage is 30, 36 to 18. That continue was, to go in the paint. That was with the left hand, fellas. <laughs> Herring. Over the top to Esho. And a foul. They're going to wave it off, but a foul will go on John Fields. I believe that will be three on him. If it is. No, Larry Liu, so sigh of relief for Singapore, and that will be three on Liu. And you know, with the activity of go in the paint, it's a 40 to 28 points in the paint advantage for the home squad, Chuck. Three team fouls now on CLS, two on Singapore, or four CLS and two for Singapore. So far side, Jawado, he's been the invisible man here in the third quarter. About time for Brandon time here in a minute. Wong Wei Long. Young on him. Watkins and Fields doing battle right now. Watkins turns the corner over the head. Nice job on the defensive end. Great seal by John Fields. Alexander, Larry Liu. Alexander again. Fields with the screen. Alexander thought about it. Back outside. Nice tight defense by CLS. A three by Alexander off the mark and jumping in and getting to the smallest guy on the court right there. Herring quickly getting it to Wong Wei Lung inside. Trying to turn the corner, a blocking foul, and that will go against John Fields. That will be three on him. And that's possibly big, uh, big chuck because three personal fouls. You can bet CLS will continue to go to Darrell Watkins. Another quick foul from, from Fields, and uh, it's, it's going to be back to the bench for him. Yeah, uh, two fouls so far on Watkins, so slight advantage there. But what a third quarter walk, or Fields has had. Remember, he had five points, so 11 yeah. now. They'll leave Fields in for the moment. And they, you're right, Marco. They go straight back at him, trying to turn the corner. Nice job on the help on the defense by Delvin. Go from behind, Scotty. Back comes Young. Young, one man to beat. Over the top, can't get it to fall. Back in the hands of Fields, and uh, a foul. Let's see who that goes against. Anxious moments here. Will it go on Herring? Looks like Darrell Watkins got away with a foul on that one. So Herring with three, Esho with three, Fields with three on the other side, along with uh, Jaron Young with three. With 2.44 here left in the third quarter, this is an opportunity for Singapore to push it. They've only been able to push this lead to eight or ten points. Yeah. They've never got it to double digits, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and it always gets reeled back to four. So this is a huge moment. If they can get this separation going in the third quarter, get up by 12, 13 points, that is a very positive thing moving forward. They can play even Steven in the fourth quarter with only ten minutes to go. If they can keep it to, to 10, 12 points, Scotty, very good point, but they've got to do it first. Alexander on the baseline. Up pops Jaron Young, herring on him. Young thinking about it. Back outside to Ung Han Bin. Rotation over to Alexander. Catch and shoot for three, no good. Vine for the rebound and coming down with it is Jawada. Wong Wei Long pushing it. That's back to back three point attempts there from Alexander. That's exactly what, what the Knights want him to take. Herring in the lane. Out of bounds it goes. A little bit out of control. Doug Herring calling for the foul, didn't get it. So costly turnover there. With 2.22 to go for CLS. Alexander will control it down a little bit. Shift gears. Young off the dribble. Going to the right. Kicked away. It'll be Singapore ball. Watkins got the foot to it. And Jaron Young's got 12 points and seven, re or seven assists right now, but everything he's kind of doing has a little bit of a degree of difficulty to yeah. it. It doesn't seem like it's coming easy to him. So I'd, I'd love to see him either get to the rim or make that decision and come off a down screen quickly. Foul underneath. Let's see who that goes against. Oh, boy, if that's going to be on Herring, that's going to be four on him. So their playmaker now with four fouls and... Uh, Coach Rouston has a decision yeah. to make with 204, Marco, to go in the third quarter. And I, I wouldn't be surprised if he goes with Sandy Cornell on one of the guys off the bench, or even uh, Hidayat, because Herring is too important for them to lose this early. Right over to Young. Young on the reverse, no good. Down in a heap, he goes. No foul. Back comes Herring. They're going to stay with him. Jawado off the dribble, knocked away by Jaron Young. Out of bounds it goes. Spectacular athleticism by Jaron Young to chase down block to get it above the rim. Watch this, he times it perfectly. LeBron James, ask Jaron Young. My goodness. 
defensive play of the game, no doubt about that. That runs it down to 154. Knights will have the ball with 17. Plenty of time left on the uh, shot clock for them. Chance of defense going up again at the OCBC Arena. And it's surprisingly, Coach uh, Rosa yeah. keeping Herring in the game. He really, uh, this is how important it is for them to score on this possession. They really don't have any choice. There's that matchup again, Esho against Alexander, and uh, Esho wins that one. Nice little drop step by him. And the reverse, pivot on the left foot, come back to the right. What a fundamental basketball move right there by Maxi Esho to get him up with the pump fake and step through right underneath his arm. Oh boy, another foul. That time that will go on Jawado, and he is livid. So Brandon Jawado now with three. And the foul starting to pile up here for the CLS Knights here in the uh, tail end of the third quarter. Actually, two on Jawado. And Marco, I agree with you. I was very surprised that uh, Sandy Canero has not come in yet. I don't think he can go Hidayat. I, can't, I don't think you can go way long in Hidayat. Yeah, Those two small guard lineups. Small. So as soon as uh, Heron picked up his fourth, Canarwin jumped up on the bench and started warming up. And surprising he hasn't gotten in the game yet because one quick foul and wow, that's Harry done for the game. John Fields back on the bench now with three fouls. So they'll try and rest him the final minute, 30 seconds with Young at the line. Maybe he can stretch it to 10 as he misses the first one. Wow, he's just out of sorts today. And don't forget, guys, he has a hamstring injury. So I was I was sort of listening to, you know, you know it, it, he, he's just he's not. That first step of his just isn't there, and I think CLS knows that, and they great anticipation by them to cut him off, but he just doesn't have the acceleration that he had when he was healthy. One of two, so seven-point lead now for Singapore with under a minute 30 to go. Wong Wei Long working against John. Alexander there, almost losing it. Yeah, you're right, Marco. They're just staying with uh, Herring, working against Larry Liu. Cross court, long way long, high arc on the ball, way off the mark, but coming out of the scrum with it. And a jump ball, and I think possession arrow will go the way of Singapore. Checking into the game very quickly be Desmond O with 107 to go. I think he's going to stay with the, with the Knights with one second left on the shot clock. Possession arrow I'm looking at the other way, but maybe they've already changed it. Let's see. Look at the possession oh, yeah. arrow. He's going to go to the to the slingers. Yeah, now Young will come out. Some some good uh, strategic decisions taken by the coaches and and Coach Ralston off the bench. I'll tell you what, the referees have had enough of his act. And, you know, Herring still in the game. So if I'm the slingers, I'm attacking Doug yeah, Herring right away. Possession. Exactly. Alexander, let's see if they hunt him out. He will follow Larry Liu. Alexander is able to get around the corner, off balance shot there, the follow by Delvin Go. What timing by Delvin Go. What a game for Delvin Go. 19 points, 11 rebounds, but that activity, yeah. the second jump on the tip in there, he's at the rim every single time a shot goes up. Esho, still Esho, jump step to the basket for two, and they needed that. Good answer there by Maxi Esho, but Slinger's still up by seven points. Possibly go for a two for one, but Xavier Alexander slowing it down. So 14 and about a 13 differential on shot clock and game clock. So a couple of possessions to go. Alexander will keep it. Stepping through and a foul. And who will that go against? I think that might be against Esho. If it's Esho, that's number four on him. So good, Savior Alexander. Once he puts his head down, comes down here, uses that football carry, protects the basketball. And there's very little that the defense yeah. can do. So on the blow by past Esho. And that will put Alexander at the line. That will stop the clock at 21 seconds. And Xavier Alexander almost has a triple-double already. Not even yeah. done the third quarter. 18 points, 9 assists, and 10 rebounds. And it's those timely buckets. 21 seconds up the quarter. Chance to put them up 10. That's the separation they need. Russell Lowe will go in. Fields will go out now. Or will he? He comes back onto the court. Remember, Fields playing with three fouls. Let's see if they go straight at him. Fields 11 points. And... Uh, he has pretty much fought Watkins to a draw. So Kornjawan is also in for the night, but Herring stays on the floor, uh, possibly for the last offensive possession. Yeah, I mean, uh, they just don't have anybody else, I don't think, Marco. You know, it's, it's, it's 
game five of the finals, and yep. you just roll your dice and live with your decision. And you talk about Brian Rosen being a player's coach. He has trust in Doug Herring that he has the basketball IQ not to pick up his fifth foul here with 21 seconds left in the quarter. Okay, 10-point bowl. Just Scotty was alluding to if Singapore could get into double figures, make it life very difficult for CLS in the fourth quarter. Herring taking his time. They spread it out. Lou on him, left hand, Herring in the lane, over to Watkins, Watkins knocked away, get it out of here. Singapore, wait a minute, a foul. Let's see who that goes on. Oh boy, John Fields with a foul. I think if it is, that would be, is that four on him? No, just out of bounds. Okay, out of bounds on Fields. Woof. Long, long three. Oh my goodness, at the buzzer. Maxi Eto, or who is that, Watkins? Wow! And just when you thought you got some separation, my goodness, at the buzzer. Well, that could loom large, ladies and gentlemen. 65-58, just when it looked like the Slingers would take a double-digit lead going into the final 10 minutes. Watkins, the unlikeliest of heroes, hands a three. Singapore by seven points when we come back for the final 10 minutes of the season, maybe. All these overtime looms when we come back here at the OCBC arena. We'll be right back.
On Ben now for three is going to be way off the mark. Stein over the top right into the hands of Kurnia Wong. Gets the ball off to Herring. Long pass downstairs for the alley-oop there. So back to back baskets right now for the Knights. And you know, I, I think that was a bad shot there. The part of on hand being they did not even make an attempt to attack Max Yesho inside. Yeah, those that's that's not what key, is what getting that's not how Singapore has got the lead. They've got the lead by attacking the basket, and uh, you don't want to turn into a jump shooting team at this stage in the game, Scotty. Yeah, and CLS falls in that zone to encourage them to shoot it from the outside. Singapore is winning the rebounding advantage 45 to 25. Um, Delvin Go has nine offensive rebounds himself. They have 19 total. Get the ball in the paint and get some touches. And again, 10 point game, back down to three with six minutes left. Yeah, in retrospect, probably sticking with uh, Larry Liu on uh, Herring just a little bit too long. As Herring finally uh, gets the breakthrough, a uh, couple of possessions that he needs. So right now, 74 71. And where that 10 point lead go, fellas? Just as we said, CLS is always dangerous. They've been in this situation so many times. They've got the guns, even with four fouls. Max Diesho, Doug Herring, they are the guys at the right moment for these. And really, foul trouble at this point. Ah, who cares? You know, something that the Knights have been good at and they, they, they've proven game in and game out is that they've been able to maintain their composure. Uh, they did not panic, did not go for a home run just went in possession by possession chipped away at the lead they've only been able to hit uh, six triples in this game which is below their ninth tri uh, nine triple average but still they're in it with just uh, down by three points okay and there is on Han Bin uh, he has not had the knife that he wishes he would have had as far as shooting goes three points he's got one but uh, look for Singapore now to just to go back to basics uh, what has uh, been true, uh, t tested and true for them, getting the ball either to fields. Uh, young, he was spectacular for a while. You got to keep beating the guy that uh, brings you to the dance. So, watch for that to go back to uh, the way it was. Alexander, right around one screen, he's going downhill again. Outlet pass stolen by Young. Great anticipation by him. Young again, getting the ball over to Alexander. Alexander reverse ball in the air. Fields contesting it. Young coming over from the far position to get it off the rim. Spot four, yes. John Field stayed with it. What a scrum under the basket, guys. What a second effort by Singapore there. They want this championship. They won three 50-50 balls there to get the yeah. offensive rebound for John Fields. 5.30 to go. Off the dribble. Blocked out by, I believe that will be, let's see, is that Alexander? If it is, that will be two on the X-Man. Watch it again. I think it's no, gonna go against, it's going to uh, be Jaren against Jaron Young. So Young now with four to go with his 17 points. A lucky break there for the Slingers because uh, they're going to give CLS just a baseline inbound. First team foul on Singapore, third team foul on Singapore. Oh boy, out of bounds it goes. Man, what a time for a turnover. Harry took his eye off the ball just for that split second. Yeah, great hands by Jaron Young there to get a touch on it. He, he got him to pass the lane, got a hand with his length there, and it went off Heron's hands out of bounds. Singapore ball. Okay, let's see if Singapore attacks uh, the interior again. They've been the route of the jump shooting. Did not work out for him. In fact, the gate. Oh, look at that. Alley you pulled the top again. We saw it in the first half oh, of the game. Uh, Doug Herring caught sleeping on that sequence. They're putting Max Yesho on the side of Unhan Bien. So good play there by the Slingers. Twice in the game that's happened. Kinnear Wong working on Unhan Bin now. There to provide the screen action was Watkins off the dribble. Herring. Herring will have to move it back. Alexander in his hip pocket. Yesho working on. Delvin go, the ball stays on the rim. Oh boy, no foul at all called. Fields was wrapped up. Desperate times now, a little bit for uh, CLS. Singapore, get a bucket here and go up by nine or 10. Go a long way. Ung Han Bin draws a double team. Oh man, throws it away, but Young right there throws it up a stroke at midnight off the mark. Back with it comes Herring and company. Terrible possession there for Singapore. Jawado streaks through, knocked away, but a goaltending call on Delvin Go. What a smart play there, the part of Brandon Jawado. They could have gone for a three, but instead made the right decision, took it strong to the basket. Goaltending violation by Delvin Go. Let's see. Hold on. Is it a goaltending? No, it's going to be a foul. So five point lead. I guess a foul after that, right? So a chance for a three-point play for Jawado. 
Great decision by Brandon Jawada there. He saw Delvin go closing out of him. There's no way he's going to be able to keep him out of the lane. And Brandon Jawada, what a game he's had. 16 yeah. points now. Okay, so mistake by Delvin Go. And by the way, for Go, that's three fouls on him. Singapore all of a sudden, just with that sliver of a lead, four points down, four minutes to play. Delvin Go on that right side, working with Watkins. Go with the ball now. Bring it back outside. Young, still young, dribbling, gets inside, and he's fouled. Let's that's see who that goes against. It might be Esho. If it is, that's five. And I got a smart play on the part of Jaron Young attacking the heart of the defense. Well, that's going to be on Watkins. So they, yeah, right there. Good call by the referees. Watkins got to him first. So Jaron Young playing with four fouls as well. How important has he been to the Singapore attack, fellas, in the fourth quarter? Now he's been great in the end game, and he's yeah. been great consistently all year long in the end game. If you remember, he's the one who hit the game when he shot against Macau. What a fantastic job he's done when it matters. And you said that line earlier, Chuck. Your best players play their best moments in their biggest games, and it's been fun to see Jaron Young kind of thrive in this opportunity. So free throw, important shot right there, and aren't they all at this stage in the game? Five-point lead by Singapore with under four minutes to go. Interesting enough, Singapore has led for 34 minutes and 29 seconds in this game. They deserve to win this basketball game, and we'll see if they can finish it. They can hold on one of two, ripping down the board. It's Herring, still playing with four fouls. Young with four fouls as well. Let's see if Herring goes at him. Rousen barking up signals. There's Juwada with the ball. Delvin go marooned with him over on that side. There's the switch there, backing it up. Now comes Esho. Esho behind one screen, inside. Forces the ball inside and gets it to fall. 79-76. High percentage shot on the part of the Knights. That's what you like about the Knights. They're not settling for outside shots. They're taking it strong against the best player of the Slingers. So all of a sudden, three-point game again. All that matters is who's in front at the end of the game. Kernirawan sneaking a hand in there. And, you know, they're just waiting for Singapore to make a mistake on their offensive end. Well, that was close right there. Kernirawan might have a point. He's not going to get the call, however. Singapore led by four and a half. They'd up the lead till 10 midway through the third quarter, but uh, Behind Doug Herring and Maxi Eshel, they came storming back. So it's timeout now for Singapore. And really, you know, anybody's game, guys, still in 79, 76. Just when you think Singapore has done enough, back on the Knights. Yeah, and that's the scary thing. It's a one-possession game right now, and Singapore's led for the entire thing. They need to continue to attack the rim like we've talked about and play in the paint for this last three, and nine, three minutes and 19 seconds. Especially when they've got Esho inside trying to help protect the rim with Watkins, who's playing with four fouls. But uh, what about the play of Douglas Herring playing with four fouls? Uh, un undeterred at all, just playing his game, not backing off at all on the defensive or offensive well, end. You have to give it to the credit of Doug. Uh, you got to give credit to Doug Herring. Stayed composed. He's got 60 points, six rebounds, six assists. Has only managed to commit two turnovers and more importantly, has been able to stay in the game despite having four personals. So there is a bench there. Watkins and company. Another great game for Watkins. He's kept his fouls down. On the other side of the ball, uh, you know, the uh, John Fields, that great matchup with him. Probably advantage uh, if you were going to, you know, if it was a boxing match, you'd probably say decision right now to Watkins. Right now, the yeah. way it's going, it's, uh, you look on the scoreboard and you can't get much even. If you talk about MVP nominee, import MVP nominee, 19 points for Maxi Escher in the second half. Yeah. Man, has he responded and he has come to play and he knows this is a championship game and he's played like it in the second half here. So the boys in white trying to hold on or maybe even increase that lead. The guys in blue going to try and take over. Derail this uh, Singapore Slinger Express. Remember, they led the league in defense. And uh, Mr. Benita, as you said, something at the beginning of the game, uh, Singapore needs to hold them in the 60s or in 70s if they're going to win this yep. game. Well, don't look now, 79-76, so let's see. All the way down to the other end. Ung Han Bin wants nothing to do with that shot. Alexander is going to fire up a three and it's going to be off the mark. Esho steps in to get the rebound. Opportunity now for CLS to either get to within a point or tie. And that's Herring. the type of shot that uh, CLS was waiting for. A three-point attempt from Xavier Alexander. Scoop pass over to Juwato. Delvin Go working on him. Young giving Herring a wide berth. Now he closes him. Up comes the screen. Give and go, but nicely smelled out by Jaron Young. Jaron Young, see if he holds it up. He does, gets it to Alexander. Alexander 
over to the opposite side. Oh boy, he had the shot, didn't he? That's just what CLS wanted, though. So 10 seconds on the shot clock. Alexander will try and make something happen. Three on the other side, no good. Skine for the rebound and coming down with it is Jawado. Lead pass out to Doug Herring. 2.20 to go. Back to back positions. Yeah. Yeah. Back to back threes. No touches in the paint. Great defense though downstairs. Here's Watkins against Fields. Let's see if they go man to man. Esho, Fields. Nicely closed down by Fields. Four seconds on the shot clock. Long three. It's going to be short. Coming away with it, out of bounds it goes. I think it's going to be CLS ball. What an effort there by Xavier Alexander. He can smell this championship. No, 21 it's... points, 10 assists, 11 rebounds. He wants this and to pursue that basketball. A fantastic job to come in here as a second rebounder. Watch this, bumping up against Field and last. Oh boy, they might have gotten away with one that time. That's a lucky break there on the part of the slinger. So looks like Field's got a finger nailed to it before. Uh, the ball went out of bounds. Never mind. 155 to go here. Singapore needs a bucket here. Keep the pressure on CLS. Close the door. Knocked away. Alexander. Good hands there by Herring. Jawado. Up pops Young for two. Way off the mark. Right into the hands of CLS Korean Three consecutive jump shots for Singapore. Yeah. 130 to play. Back outside to Herring. There's a screen by Watkins. Still Watkins with the screen. He rolls off of that. Fields picks him up. Back outside again. Long three. Yeso. In and out it goes. Ball knocked around. Yeso for three for the tie. How big was that three-point shot? Downstairs it goes. Young can't get it to fall. 108 to go. CLS with the ball back again. Jawado's hurt on the baseline. Jawado down on the opposite side, but he gets up. I think he's, whoa, he is woozy. Tweak that left ankle. What a change of events there in the offensive rebound. They don't identify where Esho is. He steps into an uncontested three. Tie game now, 105 left. My goodness. Jawado seems to be okay, a little bit woozy. But Jaron Young, goal. but they're not finishing. They're kicking it out to the person who shoots the three-pointer. I, I would love to see them attack either Esho or Herring, one of those guys, because they have four fouls. And try and get back to that foul line or try and get some kind of physicality going to the rim. The ball batted around, and then finally Watkins gets the better of Delvin. Go watch it again. There it is, right in his hand, and the, the rest, as they say, is history. Esho with the finish, and yeah. And you know, that's only the seventh offensive rebound by the CLS tonight. The Slingers have 21 offensive rebounds. But what a time for Maxi Escher to hit that triple. And on top of that, it will be CLS ball. So at the other end, uh, Singapore not able to convert, and we've got a minute five to go. So Singapore desperately needing a stop right now. And yeah. you can bet if they don't get the stop, or, or if, they, if CLS gets a bucket at the other end, and uh, Singapore attacks, they will just uh, fall back, uh, park the bus, I think they say in soccer. Yeah. But uh, there will be no room on the inside for Singapore to do anything. And all year long, defense has been Singapore's calling card, and this is the most important possession of the year for them right here. They need a stop, just like you said, Chuck. They need to get a confident stop and get that ball back so they have the last possession, or one of the last possessions and a chance to score. Okay, they've got Doug Herring, they've got Maxi Esho going for him. they got Watkins down low, who has played very well against John Fields. Stingers are in the penalty. Knights only have two team fouls. So all the uh, signs pointing towards CLS, Singapore. Worst trouble they've been in in the game so far. One way long in the game. How yeah. long has he been on the bench? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Ung Han been in. Well, you know, one way long has propensity to hit the big yeah. shot, as we know. And Coach Neo matches Desmond O with that. So he brings in him as the defensive uh, stalwart for one way long. Here we go. Herring working against Young, who also has four fouls. Watch out. Under a minute to go. Popping off the screen. Wide right open look for one way long for three. Yeah! And you can smell it. What a, what a three-point shot. This guy's only averaging three points per game in the finals. First points of the game for Wong Wei Long. And the crowd is silent, except for the one section of Indonesian fans. And this is what Wong Wei Long has been doing for years, Scotty. 
only in the uniform of the Singapore Slingers. You'd never think that he would do it against him, but that's exactly what has happened here. With under a minute to go, 53.2 to be exact, and Singapore in a hole. Ice in his veins, long way long, just like you said, guys. He's been on the bench forever. To come in and hit a shot of that magnitude at this moment, what a shot, but especially in his old arena. Yeah. yeah, now watch this. There's the rotation over there, and Desmond O running at him, but uh, all the attention was focused on the opposite side. Wong Wei Long doing what he has been doing since he get, came into this league. And how about the confidence of Coach Brian Rosa putting uh, him cold from the bench and then calling the play for Wong Wei Long. And Marco, you talked about that little the big screen action. Desmond O was so worried about Max Yesha yeah. coming off that screen. That's how uh, Wong, Wei, Wong, Wong Wei Long got open for that three, an uncontested three to put them up three seconds with 50, three points, 53 seconds left here. Now it's going to be interesting to see how CLS defend this guy. Do they go ahead and give up the two? If, if I'm the Singapore Slingers, I'm not settling for an outside no. shot. I'm getting something going to the rim. X Escher has four personals. Herring has four personals. You still have 53 seconds remaining. So even if you score a bucket, they, they have a possession. The ball is still going to go back to you. Either way you cut it, even if Singapore scores, they're going to have to get a, a stop at the other end. Ung Han Bin off to Alexander. Alexander brushing pass and the accentuated on the dunk right there. So one point game, 48 1 to go. Great decision. Great decision by Xavier Alexander to go to the rim there, get a bucket, and now it's a one possession game again. Jawato working against Delvin Go. Up pops Maxi Esho. Alexander sloughed up on him. Young against Herring. Shot clock down to 10. Now it's 9. Esho stops the dribble looking for Herring. Gets the ball to Herring. Herring one way to the basket, up and off. It is off the mark. Alexander on the break, 23.5 to go. Alexander in front of him is Jawato, and there's the foul. Alexander will go to the line. And that's the right play there for Xavier Alexander. If you're going to go down, you're going to go down swinging with your MVP. Three jump shots in the possession before. They come back with two takes to the rim. Xavier Alexander, two foul shots, a chance to put Singapore up one. No, it will not be a foul shot. I think it's going to be uh, on the baseline. So calling it before the... Uh, before the shot, but still, they doesn't take any way, anything away from the decision making of yeah. Xavier Alexander. Now 18.9, Singapore can play for the last shot. Let's go, Alexander, Unghan Ben, Fields, Young, Delvin Go. Gonna have to be careful with this uh, inbounds. All the way back out to Jaron Young. Jaron Young with the ball. Jaron Young, Fields takes the ball to the basket. Ball in the air. Take it by CLS. Opportunity now. They've got a foul. And they do. Doug Herring with the ball. He will go to the line with 11.7. And the shot by Fields off the mark. What a sorry miss there on the part of John Fields. That's the, that's the shot that they wanted right in front of the rim. Just a, leaving it a little too strong. So the Knights with a chance to go up by three. And the guy you want at the line. Yeah, Doug, absolutely. Douglas Herring is a player. He's got a very nice stroke. This is the guy you want shooting the critical foul shots right now for CLS. And what a job by Herring all throughout this game, playing with four fouls. Take that, he says. Call me stroking down the shot to give a, a two-point lead to CLS. Even if he makes both, you're still in it. You still you can still tie it with a, with a three-point shot with 11.7 to go. Absolutely. So here it goes. Fields and Alexander with the low blocks. There's a shot, three-point lead now. Alexander, and there's a touch foul by Kurnier Wan. Smart job by CLS. They had two fouls to give, so that's for fourth team foul. You know, CLS might actually foul the ball. One more time, yeah. Force them to take the free throw. Downstairs it goes. Jaron Young, Alexander, still Alexander. They're going to have to make a decision here. Jaron Young rises, fires for three, way off the mark, and that'll do it. CLS Knights have held on. They have defeated the Singapore Slingers on their own home court, 84-81. First time in history for them. And for the Singapore Slingers, third time is not a charm. What a Cinderella story here for the CLS Knights. Did not make the playoffs last season. Started out 2-7 and seven this season. Rattled off seven straight wins. Went the distance in each of their playoff matches. Going the distance again here against the Singapore Slingers. In a season punctuated by the sublime, the classiest act is preserved for the uh, final seconds here in game five. 
and it's the CLS Knights who will scrape themselves off the floor and they will be the 2018-19 champions in Singapore. Third time not lucky, third time not a charm. They give it up in the fourth quarter, the dagger to make matters worse, Marco, to the man that played the Don the Singapore uniform for all those years. Long way long, hitting the yeah. big three to uh, put the uh, the Knights in great position to win this, and they do. Couch Rousem's got to be a proud man, shaking his head. He knew it was going to go five. He said it all along. And the CLS Knights, against all odds coming in in enemy territory, will be the champions, uh, Marco. And uh, what do you say about a game like this? I mean, gosh, words just uh, don't explain it. Singapore Slingers had the lead for about 35 of the 40, make that 38 of the 40 minutes. Biggest lead of the Knights was three points, and that is the final score in this game. And you, you talked about it, Chuck. Storybook ending for Wong Wei Long, the former Singapore Slinger. 84-81 it is. And what about the play of Douglas Herring playing with four fouls? What about the play of Esho Maxi Esho, 25 points, also playing with four fouls? How critical was that? Maxi Esho had four points the entire first half where you talked about how their own MVP was going to get his numbers came out big when it mattered the most came out big in the second half 21 second half points for Maxi Esho and that big triple off that tap out from Darrell Watkins so Watkins, the game. Watkins slightly outplaying uh, John Fields uh, yeah. outscoring him 13 to 11 getting the better of him staying out of foul trouble I thought that was key throughout this match and uh, there was Wong Wei Long and he is besides himself watch it again there is a dagger play of the day, no doubt about them. There is his reaction as he has done it for the CLS night. Whip pass over to him. And Desmono running to him as quickly as he can. All the attention focused on the opposite side, Marco. And how cool and composed coach Brian Rosam has been. What an excellent play call. Excellent substitution, putting in Wong Wei Long in the game's biggest moment. Okay, we're gonna talk over, we're gonna jump over to Scotty well, over there with Wong Wei Long and see what they've got to say. Scotty, uh, take it away, buddy. Ladies and gentlemen, here with Wong Wei Long, the hero of the CLS Knights. Wong, after sitting on the bench for so long and coming back into that game and hitting the crucial three-pointer, how were you able to do that? I have no idea how I hit that shot. As always, my repetitions during trainings. And when the coach call upon me, I'm ready for the shot. You've been known to have ice in your veins to be a clutch player, and we saw that in Singapore as well. Uh, what a moment for you. What does it feel like to come back here to your home country, ho your old gymnasium, and hit a shot like that? It was a very, it was, a, it was a very emotion night, uh, emotional night for me. My families are here. I've not been seeing them for the past seven months, and here I am back into back at Singapore. Getting this champion means a lot to me and my family, my wife. So yeah, I'm really, really excited about it. Congratulations. What a shot, and you have to be proud of your effort and what you did tonight. So, Thank big so congratulations, much. eh? Have a nice day. Okay, so Wong Wei Long uh, hitting the game winner for the uh, CLS Knights, and it just wasn't to be for the Singapore Slingers. They gave it their best. You know, these teams played each other nine times, nine times, and it, it took a shot at the uh, stroke of midnight by Wong Wei Long to win it. So, they get the uh, season series win over the uh, Singapore Singers, the Indonesian flag goes up. CLS Knights win it five games to four, but more importantly, the game that matter the most, and there they are, and who can blame them? They are happy. Max Yesho playing under duress, uh, Marco Benitez and uh, Herring, and my goodness, these uh, broken-hearted fans here, they're, they're gonna have to wait till next year, and that has been a familiar refrain for Singapore fans. Tough, tough loss here for the Singapore Slingers, as you mentioned, three out of the past four seasons in the finals, and I think this was their best chance they led it most of the way, and uh, again, what a story, one way long. One MVP twice with the Slingers, and then winning a championship as part of the opposing team. Okay, we've got another interview with Scotty and Maxi Esho over on the sidelines. Ladies and gentlemen, here with Maxi Esho, the MVP nominee. Maxi, you only had three points in the first half, 22 in the second half. How were you able to rally into having such a great second half? My teammates, uh, my coach, my owner, everybody believes in me, and I had a few angels with me today. I had a lot of angels with me today. Max, what a moment for you and your teammates. What can you say about Coach Ralston, this organization, and yourself, and what you guys did well this year to become the champions of the ABL? Uh, 
from day one, we just been doing the same thing. Uh, it got so, so boring. So boring. Sometimes we come into practice and we, oh, I know I heard everybody say, like, I'm tired of doing the same thing. But we practice everything every single day. We practice these type of situations. We, I mean, we, we just been prepared for this. And we just had some angels with us today. And we had a lot of heart today, I feel like. Well, big congratulations, Max, on a fantastic season individually and as your team, and congratulations on the championship. Well done, bud. Angels indeed, and they certainly were sitting on the shoulders of this gratuitous team, the CLS Knights, who made it happen, much to the delight of their uh, very excited fans who came all these miles, weathered all those. Remember, this is a team, uh, Marco, that was 5-15 and 15 yeah. last year. And they come all the way back, and uh, what a job Coach Rousen did. And, uh, you know, you've, you've got to tip your hat where the hat tip is due. And uh, Wong Wei Long, Maxi Esho, Doug Herring, you know, uh, all the guys that uh, had something to do with this win. And there they are there, and uh, you can't blame them, you know. It's sweet to, when you can wrap it up on your own court, but uh, second best is doing it on your enemies, and that's exactly what they've done. And you talk about character. You know, this team won back-to-back -back games. They went down in the series 2-1 to one after that Game 3 win by the Singapore Slingers in Gore Kurtajaya, and then winning the next two games, especially this Game 5 here in Singapore, despite being down for the entire game, only leading at the end. What a character win here. And, you won't find anybody as more deserving than Max Yesho. Scott McKinnon, I think you'd agree that the, some of the turning points in the game, there were many, but uh, when it got to the point where Singapore was jacking up threes at inopportune times, that just wasn't Singapore basketball. They didn't fall for them. Uh, they thought that they would. They were a shot or two away from breaking the game open, and instead it went the other way. Yeah, and they played a fantastic 37 minutes. They just couldn't get that separation that they needed. They couldn't push the, the game to 12, 13, or 14 points to break CLS, and like... Marco, when you said the grit and perseverance that this team has showed on opposing team's court to come back, to be trailing most of the game, and then to win it with a long way long three-pointer in his old gymnasium yeah. where he sat on the bench for almost 15 minutes of yeah. playing time. Write it any better. Can't write it any better. No, no. And then, you know, Wong Wei Long, this is probably the high point of his career, you know, because uh, all those years he toyed with the Slingers. They had some good teams, but they never, and he was with the team uh, on that Malaysian team that came so very close but went up to KL and lost. But, uh, you know, uh, he would have been the last one to think that he would come back three years later, not even playing for Singapore, and win the ABL championship the hard way. But bittersweet for him, I'm sure. All of his family's here, and there's the. Uh, water bath not the champagne bath this isn't the nba but uh, to these guys it is and Boy. coach rousem i tell you he was had my vote as coach of the year but uh, he certainly got his players vote as coach of the year that is for certain hard to find a classier guy a kinder nicer guy to talk to you coach brian rosem uh, he instilled a different culture in this team a winning culture he's a players coach gave the guys even gave his bench players a lot of confidence it cannot say enough about that, that decision to put in Wong Wei Long in his former home court in the biggest moment of the game to hit that game winner. Yeah, so many heroes to talk about. I'm really on both sides of the ball. You don't want to belittle the effort that the Singapore Slingers uh, came out oh, here yes. with Scotty. And as we said before, you made a good point. They led for 37 minutes of this game. Their fans uh, were strapped in and ready to go, ready to celebrate. But uh, hey, that is basketball, and that's why they play 40 minutes. You've got to be winning at the end of the day in Singapore. Forgot that lesson, I feel, just a little bit in that fourth quarter. Started uh, going against their game plans instead of dribble penetrating, still try, instead of trying to get the ball, forcing the ball inside. That's where they caused their damage. That's where they racked up the fouls against the opposing team. You settle for the jump shot. You win by the ju uh, jump shot. You lose by the jump shot. And today, they lost by it. Yeah, and as a Singapore singer fan, you couldn't be more proud of this group of, of, of players and what they've done. And it starts with Xavier Alexander. 23 points. 10, or 10 assists, 12 rebounds, guarding Max Yesho the entire game. As, as a player, a person, I, I am extremely proud to cheer for him and to cheer for this team. Absolutely. Um, at the end of the game, though, Chuck, a couple technical errors, a couple ill-advised shots, and all of a sudden it's a tie game with one minute left, and someone comes off the bench and hits a three. And, you know, you can only hope that they keep the core of this team, continue with this program, yes. because if you talk about one of the teams that has done it the right way, Singapore Slingers have definitely done it the right way. It's, it's unfortunate that they just come up short 
uh, the past three seasons. Well, evidenced by you, know, you talk about doing it the right way. That means that uh, you, you invest in your local players. It paid off big time tonight in the form of Delvin Go, 19 points, 11 boards. I don't know what else he could have done, but uh, just not quite enough to send him through to the next uh, level. And, uh, you know, Ung, uh, you know, and Lou, Lou did a magnificent job in the first half uh, uh, against uh, uh, Herring on the other side of the ball, but sort of ran out of gas that second half. Herring sort of picked up on that, and even though he had four fouls, he did not uh, give up any intensity at all. He kept attacking, attacking, attacking. It paid off. And what about the passing game that the that the uh, CLS Knights did the last four or five minutes? Always finding the open man, always finding the little space, getting the separation that they needed to drain the shots. And and, and Chuck, you and Markham had a great point in the first quarter when we went up by 10 points. You mentioned the score, and it was 25 to 23 or something like that after the first quarter. And we look right now, Marco said, if it's an 80-point game, Singapore's not going to win the basketball game. And it just, it just, they couldn't keep up that scoring pace towards the end of the game as the de defense tightened. And Max Yesho and Wei Long Wei, or Wong Wei Long, hit two massive three-pointers in the last two minutes. Yeah, as we're digressing, the uh, CLS Knights uh, in front of, front of pretty much a silent arena now getting their trophies and uh, it's too bad for them that they couldn't have you know do it on their own home court I wish that they you know I, I think that they wish that they could have done it but uh, this is next best and uh, they are lifting the trophies and they should be very very proud and again just to accentuate what you said Scotty I'm so very proud of these Singapore singers you know getting to the finals you know three times in four years you know there are lots of teams uh you know, that, that, that will, and lots of guys that will play their whole careers and never get yeah. to the final. So no, no reason to, to hang your heads. Uh, you, they wish it could have gone the other way, but the next year is next year. Far off into the distance, but always something to build on. And uh, I can't say enough for the organization, MJ, and everybody that's uh, made this Singapore Singers team possible, doing it the right way, as Marco said. And there's Jericho uh, giving some props to this, uh, this uh, CLS Knight team right now. What a great series. Thank you so much. And we're Thank waiting for the championship the trophy. Team. All the other players have gotten their trophies and the physios and the uh, assistant manager and everybody else. Thank you to the CLS Foundation. Thank you to the Knight Society, to their head coach, Brian Rosso. Through their GM, very you won't find a more proud guy Henry, in the Henry, arena right now. Long way long. Look at that. So that much. looks if looks could talk. That's uh -huh. worth about a million words right there. I'm sure it's extra special for him because he did not have a good final series by by his standards, just averaging three points per game in the finals. The Diet, who was so instrumental in that game four win, uh, can survive with eight points. And Coach Rouson, what can you say about him? Calm, cool hand, the ex nba -er, legitimate NBA experience uh, as a player and uh, one of these nomad vagabond coaches who go around the world applying their trade and uh, he certainly found a home and there is the championship trophy and Douglas Herring will raise it on behalf champions of the CLS Knights. Of season there nine they of the are, ABL, your champions the for the 2018-19 season, the CLS Knights. By a score of 84 to 81. They overcome the tenacious Singapore singer team who did everything right except for the last couple of minutes. And uh, CLS Knights uh, hit the big shots when they had to. Marco Benitez, you were saying that the way you hoped the game would end would be a buzzer beater. Well, not <laughs> quite, but very, very close to that, my friend. Well, I don't think we could have asked for a better ending uh, here in uh, OCBC Arena. Two well-deserved teams. Uh, any, any, any one of them could have won the championship and have really deserved it. There were about four or five teams. We saw talk about parity while we had the few seconds. Uh, you know, we saw the Macau Black Bears bust out of the gate very, very quickly. Then the Ala Filipinas looked like they'd be the team to beat. Formosa Dreamers and then... Mono the, Vampire yeah, coming Mono from Vampire, My goodness, yeah. And then, of course, uh, when all the smoke cleared and all the favorites had gone down, don't forget Hong Kong. They were right in the mix of things. Singapore took care of them, but... Uh, there you go, the finals MVP, Maxi Yesho. Well deserved. Yeah, well, in that first half, I, I, I was critical of Maxi Yesho, not being aggressive, not being assertive. He only had three points after that first half, only taking three shots. And man, did he come out like a gangbuster in that second half. 
22 points and took 13 shots to finish 11 of 16 from the field and a well-deserved MVP honor goes to Maxi Escher. All predicated with him driving the lane a couple of times, taking the contact, bouncing off of that, hitting the shots. And then uh, he got his outside game warmed up and that was all she wrote for CLS. Is, uh, he is the indispensable guy. So, all right, that's going to do it from here. The OCBC Arena, Scotty McKinnon and uh, Mr. Pinitez. So happy that you were with us, Marco. And uh, it's been a terrific season, and I hope uh, we'll uh, tee it up again next season. So for everybody, the production staff, for Marco, for Scotty, this is Chuck Schreiner. Final score again, CLS Knights 84, Singapore Singers 81. From OCBC Arena here in the Lion City of Singapore, one more time, so long for now.